Ah, hello. Oh, I'm I'm not center. And my microphone isn't in front of me. Professionalism is happening here. I'm wiggly. Stop wiggly. There we go. Unwiggly. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Controller Tape. Oof. It is Thursday. We are catching up on a Wednesday stream. Hello, cat. Hello, Kato. Um. Oh, sorry for the sorry for the delayed startup. We had some we had a couple of technical difficulties. Audio went wonky because I unplugged one of the external sound cards uh, so that I could plug in a hard drive and do a hard drive transfer. But we now have our eight terabyte storage drive here. All set up and ready to store uh, files. Um, you remember I told you that there was like a shitload of files that needed to be moved? There were also files on that one that needed to be moved, so those have been transferred as well. That took another eight hours. So, uh, how, how goes you? Mr. Pand. Uh, I am currently still reeling from that witch's brew that dad oh, made. <laughs> yeah. That stuff was kind of nuts. I haven't had any more of it. Like, I couldn't finish my bowl. And I had to throw it away. Uh, I will also say, wasn't a fan of the goat in it. It had, it had goat meat in it. Plus goat bones. <laughs> like, yeah, it was like... He didn't bother to unbone the cute, the goat cubes. Well, like, it comes... I, I saw the package. It comes that way. Um, but he didn't, like, debone the cubes. He just sort of chucked them in. And I'm like, how hard would it really have been to debone the, the cubes? Er and it's like when you get it's like when you get shrimp dishes that still have the tails on fuck off <laughs> yeah like what the hell why you couldn't like spend the five minutes removing the tails thanks for ruining my dinner oh that always drove me crazy when like mom would do japanese curry with shrimp but then mm -hmm. she'd be like oh i was too tired to detail all the shrimp and i'm like cool well now i have to eat my curry with my fucking hands like <laughs> But which, but, like, I get it, but I feel like, you know, can we do? Can we make a meal plan? Like, I know this comes off as like super ungrateful <laughs> to the person who's making our dinner, but like, we usually have a meal plan that extends over many days, right? So if you're really tired one day, then you could uh, just use a different day's meal plan that's easier. Like, if you like tuna mac like we do that sometimes just do that instead or you know like you could ask me for help like i can normally i'm working and i spend a huge amount of my time working but so it's so like i'm not gonna run up there and take time away from that work if it's not needed but like if it's needed you could just ask me uh yeah, so I think the dish would have been better if it had just been the squid. Also, what a weird meat combination. Oh, yeah, goat and squid. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, the other problem with the goat was that it was tough. Yeah. Like, no tenderization happened. Like, I bit into one, and I could literally not chew it. I was sitting there, I was like... Try, I try to get it off the bone and won't come off the bone. I'm like, okay, ng -ng 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 -ng, and at no point would it give and be like, all right, now I am a part in your mouth in a fashion that you could swallow. So it's just like, I guess I'm not eating the goat. But the spiciness was wild because I would say it wasn't actually super hot. Like, not super duper hot. Like, mm. maybe habanero level. 
which isn't which isn't a heat level that I am uncomfortable with. But normally, normally when I eat like super duper hot things, right? Even even habanero stuff sometimes, but like ghost chili peppers, you know, you got some you got some hot things that are more like a dim candle in your mouth, and you're like, oh, there's a bit of heat, and mm -hmm. then it dissipates quickly. Right. And then you have like really hot things, where it's like a precision explosion in your mouth. It's like boom, right? And it's like. Oh, and like it'll take some time to build up and then it's like whoa that's hot and then it goes away that was immediate like I swear I was tasting heat I was tasting the spiciness before it even entered my mouth mm -hmm. two it then coated my mouth and lingered for a super long time and like just my entire gastrointestinal system, it's more like I was hit by a napalm bomb. <laughs> like it wasn't super spicy, but it did more damage mm -hmm. because it just coated my innards. And <laughs> now I am slowly eroding from the inside out. If you see like my skin start to slough off <laughs> halfway through the stream, uh, blame my dad. Slough? Do you mean sloth? Is it sloth? Yeah. Which, come on. You should know that because it's spelled the same way as though. And tough. <laughs> and bow. And doe. And doe. <laughs> <laughs> and cough. English is so fucking stupid. Uh, I, I had goat not too long. Not like maybe last year or a couple or 2022 when we had a Indian restaurant um, open up sadly very briefly and in, uh, in town and we went there and I thought it was really good and uh, one of the things my dad got while there was like this dish we were all supposed to share which had goat in it mm -hmm. and that goat was like tender and like it, 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 it kind of had the same texture as like pulled pork kind of a thing but instead of you know barbecue sauce it was like you know all those spices you just you'd associate with Indian cuisine which I don't know any of that because I never eat Indian cuisine because there are none around us <laughs> hmm hmm so, I haven't actually had any dinner yet, because when I went upstairs for the spicy dinner, and I was like, I'm going to hold off on this, there apparently was a chicken dinner also on the way for the boys, and anybody, literally everybody but dad. <laughs> um, but I, it wasn't ready yet, so I was like, okay, well, I'll just, you know, I'll just head downstairs and I'll come back up for dinner. And then I got busy with work, and I didn't go up and get dinner. So, I kind of feel bad because there's, like, almost an entire tray of chicken up there that hasn't been consumed. Well, it's like, now I got to go eat, like, all of that An chicken. entire tray of chicken, an entire massive pot of that stuff Dad made. <laughs> like, he literally... What I don't understand is, he made this massive pot of food, but he... I don't know if you saw, but he put, like, somewhere between 10 and 15 ghost peppers in it. Like, he... Did he not realize that most of the people in the house can't eat that? It's because the last time he used ghost peppers, it wasn't spicy at all. Like, I tried some of it, and I was like, I don't really taste any spiciness. Neither could he. Didn't he use, but then, like, dry ghost pepper, though? Because this time he rehydrated it. Hmm. That might, that might have helped it considerably. But he took the, uh... <laughs> King of Fighters 95 to 98 approach, <laughs> but in the opposite direction. He was like, this isn't spicy enough after using, like, one dried pepper. So I'll use, like, a fucking baseball size wad of rehydrated ghost peppers. <laughs> Bloont. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> So, right now I'm munching some delicious life cereal. What kind is that? Oh, just original? Just, just regular ass life. Well, I like life. Life is... 
Life's not corn, right? It's like a bunch of stuff. Yeah, multigrain. Yeah. And it says it's the original, so Oat multigrain. Oat flour, corn flour. Oh, so it does have some corn. Sugar, flour. whole wheat flour. Calcium, calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate, salt, baking soda. To, to sophorols? Oh, hey, it's got a disease in it, because that's what that <laughs> word sounds like. To preserve I'm sorry, freshness. sir, but you've contracted a bad case of tosophorolis. <laughs> Reduced iron. It used to have more iron in it. Uh, niacinamide, uh, which is a B vitamin. Anato, which is a color. Or anato 4 color. Uh, thiamine mononitrate. Uh, that's also a B vitamin. Uh, pyridoxine hydrochloride. That's another B vitamin. Riboflavin, B vitamin. Folic acid, B vitamin. Like... See, what, what pisses me off is that, like, like all these, like, long, chemically-sounding words, they're just B vitamins. Yeah. So, like, but you have these people who are like, oh, it's got, you know, don't eat food with chemicals in it. It's like, do you eat... And then, also, I take vitamin B. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't understand why they can't just say vitamin B1, vitamin B2, vitamin B12, or whatever. Because people are familiar with that, and they understand that those are vitamins. Well, kind of familiar with it. Obviously, they don't know what it is. <laughs> right, but <laughs> at the same time, how many people who are like, Oh, I trust that I need B vitamins in me to live healthily, mm -hmm. are going around and looking at their... Looking at the store, at the supplements, and being like, Vitamin B3? What's that? I was looking for calcium myacinate, <laughs> like, or whatever the fuck it's called, you know? A lot of things identify as B vitamins these days. <laughs> you know, it's a more progressive society. Um, I bet you didn't know that uh, my vape is a B vitamin. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I'm getting my supplements for health. Speaking of, oh, there it is. My vape keeps trying to escape <laughs> calcium my <laughs> ice grenade. <laughs> that's that's what he said. <laughs> um so but yeah. Um you know what I haven't had in a while? Um maybe unpopular opinion, but uh I quite I quite like kicks. Yeah, I like kicks too. Like it's kinda like Cheerios and that I prefer mo as at just a dry snack over mm -hmm. A bowl and some milk. But I also like Wheaties, so take my taste with a grain of salt. <laughs> I mean, you like Wheaties, like, I'm not gonna shit on you for that, because, you know, I also enjoy just mowing cornflakes. Mm -hmm. Even though cornflakes got its start as an anti masturbatory measure. It does help with that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you just glue a whole bunch of cornflakes to your hand and you're trying to masturbate. <laughs> crunch, and, crunch, crunch. Ah! <laughs> you're basically just got razor blades all over your hand. <laughs> um, Certainly would prevent you from trying. I still want to try. Um, Because, like... Who's badooping you? Uh, uh, one of my friends. Tell them um, to go fuck themselves. One of, the, one of the people who worked with me on the... Pro Jared custom deck. Um, but I I like Wheaties and I like ish raisin bran, but I don't like raisins that much. So they're just sort of there. You know, I don't I don't hate them, but uh I don't What if it was something like a, a different dried fruit, like dried apricots? Well what I wanna try is I wanna Get, like get Wheaties and I want to try Craisins. Oh yeah. I feel like they're in that same sort of I feel like they're in that same sort of zone as Raisins, but I like them a lot more. Um yeah, I feel like I've missed out on cuz like, you know, um, people put fruit in their cereal all the time. Mm -hmm. My thing was I was never a big cereal dude just because I hate soggy cereal, and mm -hmm. if I try to take my time with cereal, like you should with every meal, what I end up with is uh, the worst oatmeal you'll ever eat in your life. <laughs> because it's just all much. Yeah. 
cold, soggy mush. And, like, that's just a horrible texture. So, and it wasn't until much later in my life when I realized, oh, I'm stupid. I could just pull a, pour a bowl of dry cereal and then just have a glass of cold milk on the side and just spoonful of cereal, sip of milk. Steer cereal stays crunchy throughout my whole meal. And I don't have a gross bowl of sludge after, because I also never liked that, where, like, all the kids are like, oh, the best part about a bowl of cereal is when you've got, like, the flavored milk at the end. I'm like, this shit's disgusting. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, and it like only really works if your cereal is super sugary, like fucking, you know, Lucky Charms. Yeah, like, um, I actually, I actually was converted to the milk before cereal uh, side of that debate by like, you, you, it, somebody pointed out to me that because uh, like cereal gets soggy in milk right right and before anybody is like oh well why because like when I whenever I say like cereal gets soggy in milk and that's an issue they're like why are you eating your cereal so slow that it gets soggy have you not watched fucking commercials like they all say that like it's the cereal that doesn't get soggy in milk right like that was Chex's whole deal <laughs> yeah um or was it Chex? Or was it... I forget what the brand... But it was like, it doesn't get soggy in milk. Like, that Like that was a whole deal. So, like, you know, cereal gets soggy. By the time I'm, I'm done with it, it's like moosh. But someone pointed out... Uh, was it a live stream? It was like a live stream or a video or something. But, like, they pointed out, cereal floats. So if you pour the milk and then add the cereal, the cereal will float on <clears throat> top. And you have this, like, mound, right? And a lot of that cereal doesn't touch the milk because it's floating on top of the rest of the cereal. <laughs> so you get, so like, as you eat the cereal, it slinks down and, you know, so like the cereal stays pretty crunchy until you get to the end. Yeah, create, create a sp uh, Pacific garbage patch in your bowl, except yep. it's delicious cereal and not toxic trash. <laughs> Precisely. Um, but yeah. So and I, the thing is, you could also just, if you just have a bowl of milk and then pour the cereal on top, you could just pour a little bit I'm leaning. and just keep, you know, as you finish it, pour a little more, as you finish it, pour a little more. Stop. Stop jiggly. <laughs> you know? And you yeah. just, and you just eat until you're like, all right, I think that's, I think I had a good enough amount of cereal there. I'm ready to start my day. But, uh, when it comes to cereals, I'm trying to think... Well, I mean, my obvious favorite of all time would be O's. Mm. But I don't think they make that anymore. I don't even know what company made it. Yeah. It was um, really good. Followed by Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's a that's a good top ten for me. And uh, I really like the cinnamony ones. Like, because after like that would be Apple Cinnamon Cheerios. The best Cheerio. And I've heard some people who shall not be named come down on Apple Cinnamon Cheerios because they're a filthy swine who's like, I don't like cinnamon. Oh, what was it? It was... Waffle Crisp? Something in Cinnamon. You remember those? Like the comics they put on the back of the... Uh... <clears throat> There was it was like the app it was like the superheroes oh, yeah. like the apple and then the cinnamon and the cinnamon one was cinnamon but I can't remember what the uh, apple boy. <laughs> um, I will also say that uh, I was n I'm not a fan of the variations on cinnamon toast crunch they've been doing because yeah. I saw they did the cinnamon roll one I was like, dude that sounds amazing and I got it and I was sorely disappointed because like. It was too much in a solid lump. So by the time like I'd finished chewing through what it, it's a song. <laughs> oh, apple cinnamon Cheerios. <laughs> uh, by apple Jacks has been ruined. I'm interrupting you because I'm angry. <laughs> apple Jacks has been ruined because at some point they decided it needed to taste like apples, and now it does. It's it's just bad apples. <laughs> like, if Apple Cinnamon Cheerios is infinitely superior to whatever it is that the, the like, they just, they were like, now it tastes like apples. It's it, the red delicious of Apple Cinnamon 
and cereals. Before that, it was just sugary. And it was great, and they had that whole apple, that whole campaign where they were like, it doesn't taste like apples, it's like, we just do. Which was stupid and fun, and it, like, it distinguished it, kind of. And now it's just inferior apple cereal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, hello, Cairo. Anyway, I'm done with my, I'm done with my rant. Fucking, I don't remember what the hell I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to remember everything when... The interruption was re <laughs> Well if it makes you feel better when I started slapping my leg in fury, I also nicked my nuts, so <laughs> I am in I'm angry! Poof! Oh. I mean that's <laughs> if that's not a metaphor for ang anger, I don't know for like dealing like how your anger literally hurts you. I don't hey, know what on. is. Hey, go out. We're talking about breakfast, and mm -hmm. I would also like to point out that, man, I wish I had ever in my entire life experienced what they called the, what they showed in the commercials as part of a complete breakfast, where you have, like, you know, your bowl of delicious sugar <laughs> with milk in it, plus some bacon and eggs and toast and an orange. Yeah, it wasn't that was like a Calvin and like joke? An entire ham. It was like it says like chocolate frosted sugar bombs. It says here it's part of a complete breakfast, and then I was like, and it shows it with four eggs, seven pancakes, a dozen bran muffins. <laughs> <laughs> like, which at first I thought was just like when I was a kid, I thought it was just a dig at like you know our fatness, and then I realized later in life is like, oh no, bran muffins. Bran muffins are awful. What they're trying to say is, it's only complete if it's balanced out in this horrendous way. <laughs> uh, or, oh. Orange juice and a glass of milk. We'll see you later, Cobalt. Um, now, before you shit on orange juice and a glass of milk, <clears throat> when I was in the army for breakfast, like, I want you to picture like a lunch tray, right? Like your right. traditional like <clears throat> like, you know, rectangle, like what they give you at like fast food restaurants when you're going to eat in. Right? Yeah, like the, it's about like yay big. Right. I want you to picture that whole tray about, I'd say like four inches high with food. That was breakfast. And it was because like you need all those calories. Yes, yeah, you're going to be doing so much physical shit right. that you need to pack it in. Right. Because you're going to burn it all by the end of the day. But it's it was so much food that like we had to get used to eating that much food. So like for the first couple days when we were getting fed, there were people just like out on the sidewalk puking because like they just couldn't consume so much. Yeah, yet. it can be it can be difficult to get into that. Um. But I have a feeling that if I had joined the army, the puking would happen after I did all the physical <laughs> shit. Right. Because, like, I am used to eating, like, a truck ton of shit. It's just what I'm not used to is then my body not being able to just immediately pack it away into my stomach fat. <laughs> so, like, my body would be like, this is too much. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> we, uh,. We would be served, like, with that breakfast, you would get, like, again, think, like, restaurant glass, right? Like, when you go to a restaurant, you get, like, a glass of, like, a glass of soda, and it's, like, like this, right? Mm. Two of those of Gatorade, and gotta, one more of milk. Got it. Gatorade <laughs> gives you sugar and electrolytes, and the nope. milk is just healthy. There was a there was a conspiracy theory that uh, the Gatorade they added some kind of powder that uh, screws that like kills your libido, just you know to make just to make sure because I was in I was at Fort Benning which is a male only which I don't know if it still is but it was a male only uh, boot camp and it was like just just in case. <laughs> Just in case there are some gays, want to make sure that they don't <laughs> get them through boot camp. It's fucking I'm, dumb. I'm, I can't say that that's not true, but I'm pretty it's sure like, it isn't. Yeah, it's all like all conspiracy theories. Also, what a different approach than to what soldiers used to be back in the day, because like <laughs> they were the horniest fuckers. Right. <laughs> like, how many men were like, I met my wife. 
because I was on leave in the middle of World War II and I saw the hottest nurse <laughs> and I was like, whoa boy! Isn't the military full of straight gay people and the gay street pe straight people anyway? Um, not when I was there. Um, I was in, I was there in 2010, I think, 14 years ago or so. I, got, I joined, like, right after Bobby was born. We could um, probably continue to talk about this while I play. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Uh, you'll have to change things. No, I refuse. Only big cam. People don't need to see the game. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Stop they don't need to see the game. They don't need to hear the game. Oh, yeah, I need to unmute. Switch to game. The frickin' frogs game! <laughs> Do you understand that? Uh, 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 crap. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I do. I'd actually create that sound effect, but I can't do it because it fling the headphones off of my head. Um. So. But yeah, it wasn't. Um. It was pretty fucking straight when I was in. Like, there wasn't. Like. To the point where, to the point where, like, uh, gay was still kind of an insult, uh, that was, that was thrown, what, that was bandied about by, like, the drill sergeants. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. <clears throat> we might, might as well just go attempt with Freya. Um... But I was also I was also in the army at kind of like a turning point for the for the mil for the army at least I don't know about the other branches but um, there was like it was kind of like a turning point where they were starting to realize that this whole training system that they were doing is completely fucked up. <laughs> um, oh, so I like to get back into Dark Souls mode. Dark Souls to Rob Controls mode. Cause playing I was, Elden Ring? Yeah, I was playing Elden Ring, and so I'm back into, like... Oh, also, uh, arachnophobia warning, I guess. Um... How? Are we just both doing Way of the Poke? Is that how this is... Is that how this went? Well, I'm kind of... I'm gonna need a few weapons. Um... But anywho... Um... Bye. Shut your fucking mouth. Don't you gargle at me. <laughs> um, the Fort Benning at the time uh, had its various training companies uh, doing, like, trialing different training approaches. Um, it, used a, it was like a sort of a grid where it was like of speed and stress. So right. they, had, uh, they had like a high speed, high stress... Basic with basically speed is like how much information they pack at you, like how much training they like cram down your throat in a limited space of time, right? And then stress is like stress, like uh, in the high speed, <laughs> high stress company across the way, Charlie Company. Um, we we heard that uh, somebody there had gotten a birthday cake sent to them by their mother uh and if you know anything about boot camp you know you know <laughs> oh no <laughs> because you better eat that entire cake no, right the fuck now soldier that's what they did they forced him to eat the entire cake and then had him take his rifle put his head on it down on the down on the ground and spin until he puked and it was like, that's high stress. It was, you know, that, like, when you think of typical boot camp nightmare garbage, that's what that is. And that was what they were really starting to move away from at that point. They were still trialing it. But, and then you had high speed, low stress, which was less. <laughs> <laughs> He's just having a good time. Oh. Um, but then you, you had high speed, low stress. Which was that was uh, the com that was the company I was in, um, which was just train, 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 train. But also, we don't really care if your bed is made. Who gives a shit? Like you're gonna go shoot people, not clean motels. <laughs> um, 
There was low speed high stress, but that failed almost immediately because I always just don't teach them anything and just beat the shit out of them, and that was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that accomplished nothing. Um, and then there was low speed, low stress, which was take longer for training, but, you know, go easy. Um, but nobody really liked that. Even the, even the, even the. Yeah, because I imagine uh, you would feel like you're like, I'm supposed to be trying to get into war. It was boring, is yeah. what they found, is that, like, uh, the, the recruits didn't like, didn't like, you know, they, they were just bored. Um, so there was, like, no energy to it, so, uh, they ended up going, moving to that sort of high-speed, low-stress environment where there was, uh, there's less, um, there's less emphasis on that whole, uh, just, like, beat the shit out of your, tr your recruits. <clears throat> um. Oh, no, don't, don't get it, don't get it twisted, Cobalt. <laughs> I don't, I don't like spiders any more than he does. Um, Come along, right? Yeah, I mentioned, I mentioned in the last one. The, I mentioned in the last episode that these spiders don't particularly trigger me. Because They're worse than frostbite spiders. Yes, um, but these guys. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> dead. Um, Ray. They they lean they lean towards monstrous. Like the spiders that trigger me are the ones that look like actual spiders. Yeah. Because like I'm not I'm not a monster phobe. Like so the less they look like spiders the less of a problem they are. These are not comfy. No, there's... <laughs> yeah, come over here, Ray. Yeah, the more monstrous you make a spider, the less it looks like an actual spider, right? And what I'm scared of is actual spiders. Let's go, friends. <laughs> <laughs> Leroy! <laughs> he just goes charging in. Ah, don't poison me. Yeah. I technically am a monster file because I'm just a xenophile. Like, there are ah. there are certainly exceptions. Ah. Um, but those exceptions always have to do with some aspect of the thing rather than just that it's a monster. Um, are you alive? I'm not into like, I don't I don't like smelly shit. So like, if a monster looks like it would smell bad. I'm not into it. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm not into, like, Fuck my hearing. dead things. <laughs> well, I don't know. So, but like... This, again, it kind of comes down to the smelly... Well, but so that's, like, it, I'm not into, like, the look. I don't... I'm not interested in, like, something that has, like, fucking flesh hanging off of it. Right? Like, decay. Yeah. Um, but like, if it's just like a fucking Frankenstein but like, yeah, like looking lady. A vampire, like a vampire is technically dead, but it doesn't look dead, you know what I mean? Um, you're gonna, you're gonna play Grounded? I don't know, I don't know why Grounded just hasn't, like, struck me as a game I'm interested in. I can't see <laughs> Please, Get, use a torch! Do I have... Okay, I have a funny butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> what the f... <laughs> it's very dark in here. Where... What? <laughs> You're in the menu. Oh. I still can't <laughs> see shit. What the fuck? <laughs> um... Is... Do you want to maybe quit and reload? Maybe this is a bug? There, you're, there's no light coming off of this torch. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Maybe quit and reload. Maybe this is a bug. Will my guy still be here though? I don't know. Cause if they, if they're not here and I'm down here still. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't, I don't doubt that it's. <laughs> this is really weird. No, do you got do, no? Look, there's shadows. Yeah, there's shadows. So it's casting light. It's just. But I feel like they should be more glistening. Why is it so dim? 
did the did the lighting engine get fucked up? Oh. <laughs> Ray, can you fall down there and <laughs> test things for me? <laughs> Eh. Okay. <laughs> eh. Why is it? Why is it like this? You just keep them off me. <laughs> I'm having some. <laughs> is it? I think the cataracts are coming back. Did the lighting get screwed up in the menu? Like the brightness of the game? Maybe. No screen. No, it's still. It's still pretty fucking high. No, don't turn it all the way up. I didn't. I put it back to where it was. It's only brighter now. I, I put it back to where it was. This is where it was. Hmm. I can't verify this because I can't see the stupid red bar. <laughs> it looks brighter to me. Um, I think you're just going to have to make a run... I Wait, I know what it is. What? Go over to the webs. I th well, at least I think I know what it is. They sh yeah, they should be like listening and shit. Yeah, I I th turn it. Turn your camera around. Let me see. This is this is a bug because none of your specular highlights are showing. Oh, at all. Like all of the specular is gone. This so this is like absolutely bump, a bug. I was wondering why it looked kind of PS two y. It's the bump mapping is probably fine, which means it might not be loading the textures properly. Uh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know. I know. We're going to have I have to fix this. I have to fix this. You're going to have to save and quit. God, I'm I'm sorry. I have to fix this. Uh, hold on. I can't. I fucking uh. Do I have the homer bone? Yes. You can't use it. You have to... There sh you should have an item that banishes your dudes. Uh, that one. The black separation crystal. I know... I know what's happened. It's... It's not... It's not a bug. Um... I'll fix it and then I'll explain. So, I'm gonna put us to intermission real quick. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. <clears throat> Don't forget to turn off mouse. No. <laughs> take that, take that encoder. <clears throat> okay. Um, so yesterday, in fact, <clears throat> this right here <clears throat> is a hard drive that was in the gaming computer. And I need this for transferring when, when I take VODs over onto my computer, my, my Mac, for getting them turned into YouTube VODs. Uh, using that drive to transfer them will take fucking forever, right? So this is a solid state drive, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna use this. But I had to sacrifice this from the gaming computer, and this is what Dark Souls 2 was installed on. So when I move Dark Souls 2 over to the C drive, it made the it made the lighting engine angry because it didn't know where anything was. So I have fixed it. We have lights. It's a done deal. You know what I need to get? I need to get like you know how like you would put video games and video game cartridges in like a box like the, you you get storage boxes like protectors like the Super Nintendo right. had those little plastic sleeves and the uh, NES had the big floppy drive looking ones right um, I need to get something like that for these because these are just internal hard drives they're typically not meant to be just hanging out in the air you right. know what I mean. So like it'd be it would be good if I had like some kind of a case or like a sleeve or something I could just onto it. I suppose I could just make one with some cardstock, but that feels lame. <laughs> uh, I have encountered a problem. 
What's that? I used my only flame butterfly. Oh, you're and, just gonna have to hold the torch. But I can't kill the spiders in the basilisk. <laughs> you can kill the bat. You just have to jump down. And be brave. Or uh, somebody somebody sells flame butterflies. I believe it's the lady. So you could just go back to the lady and buy some flame butterflies. You got souls. Wait, I don't think it is the lady. I think there's another merchant who sells the flame butterflies. They have covers. Link them. Link link me to them, please. Like, one for this would be good, but I don't really have, like, one of these SSDs. What I'm gonna end up needing is for, like... I'm gonna need, like, for the... For those ones. Right. Because those are the ones that are gonna fill up, and I'm gonna need to buy more. Okay. Although... That spider had pants. Someday, you know what I would like to do? Is I would like to... I would like to get, like, a server rack, and then just take all of these computers and put them into a, into like the server rack and then just run cable everywhere all over the house so like in your room you don't need that computer in your room you just have like the <clears throat> cables coming out and you can just plug your TV into the wall and now you're connected to your computer um, and if, and if I were ever able to do that, I'd just stick a NAS in there as well. And then that whole issue would be instantly solved. Just put in more hard drives. Yeah, I did... I did kind of feel like it was very dark this whole time. Also, these spiders weren't dying in one hit when I was fighting them last. That one didn't die in one hit. Well, I didn't hit him. Ray's been hitting him. Interesting. I wonder what happened. <laughs> to, like... All modding... Did all the mods miserably? disappear? Because <laughs> now but it's like... But I didn't like... change the other mods. Like, I, d I didn't... Okay. Whatever you say, game. Hey, that one had a Mastodon greatsword. <laughs> Get down here and die. I was just, I was just hanging out, literally. I was just having a good time. <laughs> yes, but I don't trust a spider further than I can piss. Now, I need to check something real quick. Do I have any money? Because if I have money after we're done here, I'm... Yeah, I got some money. After we're done here, <clears throat> I'm gonna go destroy the pump and pantry. <laughs> squish, squish. Just squish. <sighs> give me all the candy bars. I found out, at least I read. So, you know, feel free to fact check me. This is a science thing. I don't like, I suppose I could look it up, but whatever. Fact check me if you want. Um, but the brain as a, as a machine is powered mostly by glucose. Um, so like carbohydrates, sugar, sugary foods, that sort of thing. Those generally <clears throat> are what your brain pulls from. Right. Right. Um, which from what I read, is kind of why uh, people who do a lot of, like, brain work, you know, like, like, uh, like, for example, like, accountants versus uh, construction workers, right? Like, people whose job is that they have to work their brain a whole lot tend to have a sweet tooth. Hmm. Because their brain is like, I need more sugar. Give more sugar. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm a fat fuck. <laughs> because I use my brain a lot. You can... Oh, we're about to find out if... We... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the easiest way to find out if the mod is working. <laughs> Just leap. 
Yeah, it must have been working before, because I distinctly remember doing big leaps. Weird. Before. So I wonder why... How are you not dead? Ah! <laughs> You've got this, Ray. <laughs> I wonder why you were doing less... Because I, I, you're right, you were, you were not killing them in one hit. I remember. I'm so slow. <laughs> On the webs. Um... Stop running. This time... Why are you running? <laughs> this time you had a torch the whole time. Do you think that... Do you think do it had something weaker? to do... Maybe they get weaker with... With torch? Fire? Or maybe having your... Maybe having your crossbow equipped affected it in some way? Well, my crossbow's in my right hand. No, it's not. Well, I mean, it's in my right hand equipment slot. Oh, okay. You know, so I can crossbow and torch at the same time. I don't know, maybe maybe it is the torch. And also block and torch at the same time. I mean block and crossbow. Block and torch. Croc and block. <laughs> right. Wait, did I grab this summon? Yeah, you had three dudes. Okay. Come hither. Where are you shooting at? That dude. No. All right, you better get in there. Some of these dudes are uh, on a timer. All right, here we I don't go. I know how long the timer is, but... Mom, I need more candy. I'm using my brain a lot. <laughs> Skip. For a hot second, I thought the AI was broken, and I was going to be <laughs> Just pissed. sitting there? Yeah. It's like, yes! We have bamboozled her! <laughs> Shit. Like... This does this okay. this right here. Shit. <laughs> this right here doesn't trigger my arachnophobia at no. all. She this is barely this is registers just, as a spider. Like if you told me this was supposed to be a dragon with eight legs, I'd believe you. Yeah. Eh. Motherfucker. <laughs> this is the only problem I found with with having that many summons. Uh, make sure you take out the spoders. Because well, they're all oh my god, that did no damage. They're all focusing on her. All right, I don't need to search anymore. We call this the temper tantrum. Oh, here comes the spoder. Yeah, <laughs> the moment I put my torch down, right, I need to get on the other side of her. More cereal. Eat shit, bitch. Did that do fucking ten damage? Yes. Why am I sometimes slowing down? Controller better not be fucking up. Okay. That one did 62. <laughs> eh. God damn your legs. Me, life gem. Keep. Stop your hopping! <laughs> you know what? It might have done no damage because you missed, and one of them did damage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> eh. So what we both have determined is that fuck this fight, only shoot, on, that yeah, I should only have my do things from a distance. Do you have any other fancy bolts? I don't think so. No, nope, stop with your temper tantrums. Um, your crossbow is probably going to be a better choice here because the DPS is higher. Yeah. Whoa, where are all these flames coming from? Um... Which one of them is doing that? Also, thanks, Webb, for kicking in, like, the weird depth of field. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just blurry. Okay. okay. It's not... I was oh. like, why is depth of field happening? I turned uh. depth of field off because depth of field is garbage. Why aren't you dead? Boyd, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I used to have a co-worker named Boyd. You are all getting absolutely stomped, and I need you to stop. You're not. You can't hit her from the side. Oh, I don't. I don't like the way she is facing. Get out of there. <laughs> Just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll. Pew. <laughs> all right. Where are you facing? Is she? She's. Yeah, she's facing that way. She, she, has, she has two heads. She's facing every way. That is true. Just keep... Piss off. 
Eh. Hey, you are literally killing it with fire. <laughs> I believe she's weak to fire. Nope. Okay, so facing that way. This game feels like it has some... It has... It suffers from cheesy strats a little more than the other two. Because, like, magic is overpowered, ranged is kind of overpowered. Just keep melting her. I suppose if there wasn't a bug where we could get infinite arrows. <laughs> yeah. Although, you can't, you can get infinite arrows. They're just like weak, shitty arrows. Yeah, but they would still be arrows. Yeah. So you could still use them here. Well, I mean, honestly, the limit, I think, would be souls, since you can't infinite farm in this game without dire consequences. Well, you kind of can. Well, I mean, because, like I said, dire consequences. <laughs> oh, hello. Die. <laughs> Piss off. It's like, all you have to do, like, because, yeah, you can you can farm out an area so nobody respawns. And then, and then you can restock it with a bonfire set. Right. But then which, it's all harder. Right, which sounds like garbage until you go, oh, well, I won't have to do that until I farm literally every area out in the game. At which point, I'm probably going to be powerful enough that new game plusing it isn't going to be Where are you facing? Bad. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, at that point in the game, you're, you've beaten the game 12 times. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, did I get her? Yep. Eat shit, spooners! Like, at, the, at that point, you've beaten the game like 12 times, and you <laughs> should be ready to go ahead and bonfire aesthetic without being terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Explode, bitch. <laughs> You fighting anything in here? Hmm. Got it. You can go into its. You can go into the dragon dream at some point when you get like that weird seed, right? Or whatever. I don't remember if you have to fight anything in it. Hmm. I wonder. I didn't do. I didn't do Freya, did I? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. Freya was one of the two you did. I did. You also did Old Iron Old, King. Old Iron King. You Wait. couldn't even one-shot this dude. <laughs> I'm built for survival. <laughs> Not for maximum punch stabbing. <laughs> Alright! Great soul. Primal bonfire was... Will you shut up? Thank so, you. that means I need to do Lost Sinner. And but I'm not actually very close to any other. The rotten. Because I haven't got. I haven't found Gilligan. Well, go get some coconuts. Did I happen to get any I nice do. things? Oops. Reinforce. No. Well, I can upgrade my bow, but can I upgrade my armor? Yes. Yes, I can. Hey. You got a Titanite chunk. I almost don't want to upgrade it too much, but, like, I don't, because I do want to get the actual Ironclad set. I mean, at some point, you'll be able to just buy the shit that you need to upgrade. That's true. Because the lady. Oh, there we go. The still wearing these hollow infantry pants. The rock lady will eventually just sell you all the stones. Rock lady, rock, rock lady. Oh, I got a bandit axe. Ooh. That might be useful for things that I can't spear good. You have a scythe. I do have a scythe. Great scythe. <laughs> I could also just whip. <laughs> <laughs> this whip is terrible. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. Um, I'm gonna upgrade this axe. Okay. You can't use it. 
I know. You'll need to go uh I'll be around. level some up. Level your strength up. Excuse me, miss. You have a quiet that is more than mo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have a yeah, oh, damn. Alright. I need an 18 strength for that. Yes. Well, I could do that. Just do 20. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I am upgrading in <laughs> Elden Ring, I'm always super annoyed when it's not like a multiple of five. <laughs> fuck your fuck your requirement of 17. That is that tilts me so hard. Uh, more fight. Maybe? That's why all of our. Uh, that's why all of our knackle rewards are like you pay six thousand seven hundred and twenty three points <laughs> and then there's one reward in there that costs one knackle that it says it's reveal my OCD <laughs> all right well I'm stronger now you'd think that would make me able to carry more shit <laughs> but apparently not but I can use this axe now do you think anybody in chat knows why they're called knackles? Ha ha ha! Big choppy boy. Alright, well, to the fire. Oh, wait, where's Lady? There I am. Did you know I'd be back actually, though? Yeah, she doesn't sell butterflies. Damn it. Who sells butterflies? I forget. Is it Shao Kwa? Shrug? Is that her name? Shing Shao Shing Weave. Short. What was short? Why are you always at this table? Because she's oh. doing her taxes. <laughs> no, you do have a time. She likes de the smell of dead things. No, nope, she's not her. She likes the smell of food. And you will buy one homer bone. Satisfied? I'll be. No, but what can you do? Fuck you. <laughs> Get a better girlfriend. Is it this guy somehow? <laughs> oh, hello. Or was it Gilligan? Maybe it was Gilligan. Fuck. Does he have any, like, cool armor you might want? Um, unless he's got something to replace my pants. What do you got? He does have pants. Is it better than what I got, though? No. He's got regular infantry boots. 43, 45, 42, 42. What are you wearing? 4.5 pounds. Well, Hollow I... infantry pants. Well, those surely are better. Uh, same yes. weight. That the, Those boots have significantly better stats. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Could I buy some pants from you? <laughs> my, my boots are hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those actually had pretty good stats if I'm... Oh, 40, not, 42. Quite, not quite as good, though. What about the uh, Falconer? They're but, heavier. Yeah, they are heavier. I'll just get the infantry boots. Yes, please. I came from the west. Have you been very good? But I did. I thought you see the ladder. Everything's... Yeah, I've been. Thanks very much. Okay. I remember doing that because you were like, what? <laughs> there... When was there a ladder there? Why do they? Why are they always these chests hidden <laughs> atop ladders? Why must they always go splorge? I... I can't believe that, like, I never knew about that stupid chest in the... in the right, daiki tree. Oh. <laughs> Move the path, please. You... <laughs> oh, I should go give Rosabeth some fucking clothes. <laughs> Oh yeah. So huh. that I can get potentially get more pyromancies. Go ahead. May the power offer your soul. Shut the fuck up. Oh, I should go do that. Proceeds to not do that. I wanna go get a bonfire. Where am I? God damn God. Going back. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go see. get a bonfire. So you are headed towards uh, uh, No Man's Wharf? No, no, you're here. headed towards Huntsman's Cops. Huntsman's Cops, because I want to find Gilligan and Lady Face. So, and then are you tits. gonna 
Are you gonna head to Iron I'm gonna Man, go, or are you gonna well, go I'm, do? I'm closer the to doing. I'm closer to do, finishing off this the center. Okay. But first, I wanted to wait to do the center until um something. But let me go. Let me go rescue Rosabeth from her. Terrible, ragged clothes. You know, you are still clothed. I had a very like good reason right. for not wanting to go do the Lost Sinner first. And I'm just going to trust past me that it was a good reason. Because <laughs> um, present me doesn't know why the hell I'm doing that. <laughs> getting to her kind of sucks. It's not that bad. You just go right through the Lost Bastille. Yeah, but then there's that whole run through rise. with all the explodey assholes in the waist deep water. Yeah, that's why. Hey. That's why. That shit sucks at um, low, at but even have, mid level. I'll take any, anything at all. Just. <laughs> uh, I got some. Old oh, knight's armor! You got some, you got some peasant attire? Yeah, throw that on, lady. There you go. Do I have any shoes? Uh, you got Varangian. Oh, you got the Seldora trousers. Yes, but those are mine. <laughs> Why do you want those? I don't. When did I get Falcon You don't? Boots? It's like, I don't, but <laughs> I'm not going to give them to her. It'd make a good outfit, but fuck her, I guess. Are those special? Those are Apparently they Effect increase the numbers of souls acquired, but you're never going to use them, so... Yeah, might as well. Oh, there you go. Girl, wear your gloves. Have some peasant long gloves and a stupid peasant hat. No, need... put on this girm helmet. No. <laughs> Don't make her stupid. <laughs> have mercy. No. She doesn't need a hat. <sighs> you have instupided her. Uh... Don't I have fireball? I'm keeping an eye on that file size. It's been an hour and a half. 1.6 gigabytes. Where do I get fire seeds? Thank you. After I hmm. Gigabyte ah. and a half per hour? Alright. Or no. 10 gigabytes per hour. That's not terrible. <laughs> the thing I miss most about Elden Ring right now fast travel from anywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Being able to just be like, there, I've done this part of the quest. Mume back to a to a friggin' light post. <laughs> Alright. Do, 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 do. I need to figure out how to do proxies in Premiere. Because that, that iMac I have over there is pretty good. But, uh, it, it's, it is not going to let me edit 4K. Like, I need to be able to get the proxies so that I can actually edit the damn video. Hmm. We could swap computers. Yours has a better graphics card than mine. <laughs> no. Mm. Maybe someday. Probably just Ugh, get a... Why am I collisioning? Yeah, this 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 collision in this particular zone is kind of crap. Probably, probably based on what I've been seeing from Apple, uh, the next computer, the next computer I'm gonna get when it's time to replace that. Oh, he's the. Hex move. Uh, probably the next computer I'm gonna get when it's time to replace that is a Mac Mini. Because they have decided to... They've decided that... It seems like they've decided that the iMacs are not their prosumer... Are not their prosumer entries. Like, if you're gonna get a prosumer level 
computer from them, you're gonna get a MacBook Pro, or um, a high spec Mac Mini or a Mac Studio, with the Mac Studio being on the high end. Um, but the main the main thing is that when that happens, although that might be a good thing anyway, because when you when I if, when I do that, if I'm getting the Mac Mini, I also have to get a display, right? right? Which means that the next time I have to upgrade the computer, I only have to get a new computer. I don't have to buy another monitor, which with the iMacs, when it's time to replace it, if I get another iMac, I'm also buying a monitor, right? Which I may not need. Um, but... Uh, How do you like it, huh? Unfortunately, the, uh... The Apple display... Is, like... Fifteen hundred dollars? Which... I know sounds ludicrous, but... Pop onto Amazon right now and look up 5K monitors. Right? Not 4K, 5K, because that's what the dis Apple display is. Like... 5K monitors are not cheap from anybody. Where are you looking, you dumb hobo? <laughs> you know, I could I could go with a 4K probably if I wanted to save some money and like use that money to make the computer a little better, but I've really gotten used to the 5K, you know, like the and it's really nice and uh like the Apple display is, uh, the, what do they call it? The app cinema display, something like that? I don't know. It's not, it, it can't be cinema display. Hold on. Um. Um. Bum, 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 bum. Let's just go shopping together. I'm gonna go shopping. You, uh, you play a game. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I call this- I call this guy Bumbo. Oh! Wow, really? You wanna order a Vision Pro? It's available in, like, nine- they're releasing it in, like, nine hours. Neat. How <laughs> much did it cost? Uh, let's find out. Pre-order. Uh, available starting February 2nd, starting at $3,500, which... Still a little out of my price range. So, and if you're not familiar with the Apple Vision Pro, it's a whole-ass computer. It's not, you know, it's not like... It's not like an Oculus or a Vive, like, it's not just a VR headset. In fact, they are, they're, they're really almost treating VR as a dirty word. Like, they're not selling it as a VR headset. They're not talking about VR with it at all. Because that's not... Uh, that's not their target with this. Like, they're not selling this as a way to play Five Nights at Freddy's. They're selling it as, like... You know, like, this is your computer now. This is how you do computing. Right? So, like, you put it on and... Um, if I understand the technology correctly, when you put it on and you start it up and everything, it doesn't, um, it puts you into, like, an AR, like, uh... Random dog? What is it, AR is what it's called? Yeah. Alternate reality? Yeah. It puts you into an A, no, uh, augmented reality. Oh, okay. It, like, it shows you your room, right, around right. you. And then it puts out like you, it can be like, do you want to watch TV? And then it's just like, whoop, here's a TV for you. But if I understand the technology correctly, the way it puts that room in front of you isn't cameras. It's a LiDAR. It basically makes a 3D model of your room on the spot. It's just like, there you go. And now you're in like a 3D room. You're not in your real room. It's a, it's, it's kind of crazy. Um... But let's get a sense of your vision to see whether or not you need optical inserts. 
What? Okay. I went the wrong way. So, you know how, like, we have to wear glasses in the VR? Right. And it can be a little uncomfy because you got, like, the glasses in there? This thing just has prescription oc inserts. So, like, they're just in there. That's kind of dope. Storage. Payment options. Well, you can finance it. Apple Care, obviously. Anything else, like, interesting? What's in the box? What's in my butt? Anyway. So, yeah, basically it's like... The, the idea of the Vision Pro is that it's meant to be, like, your computer. It's like this... You put it on, this is how you do computer now. Um, which is a cool idea if it works really well and if it's comfortable. That'd be the big thing. Like, if I had to use that Oculus to be my whole computer, that would be a nightmare. I would not do that. I, th I was really hoping Ray was about to just go sprinting off after that running undead. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. Just like, no, you come back here right now and you eat shit and die. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like... Sup, bitch. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's not... I sit in front of my computer for, like, 12 hours a day doing work and shit, right? Right. I don't want to wear that thing for 12 hours. <laughs> so this would have to be, like, supremely comfortable. I hate shit, Rowena. So, she dropped a warlock mask. Like, maybe if someday they make just, like, glasses that you can put on, mm -hmm. then I'd be, then I'd be into it. But I don't see that happening anytime soon. I do like... Um, I do think this feature is funny. Like, I, you can see... Like, if I put it on, you can see my eyes. But that's not, like, just transparent. It's a screen. So it, it, and it takes, like, video of my eyes and projects it on the front here. <laughs> But, to be fair, it does make it, like, if you go to talk to somebody who's got it on, you can see their eyes. So, there is that. Anyway, that's not what I went here to look for. I went here to look for... Porn! Oh, I already have it in my bag from when I went shopping. <laughs> Porn? Yes, I went to Apple and bought porn. <laughs> but it's really good porn. <laughs> but everybody thinks I'm an asshole because I like the porn. Like what? what? He's shooting things. Why don't you just... Why don't... Anyway. So yeah, like... I was looking at a Mac Mini... Uh, for like $600? Mm -hmm. Which for, you know, for a computer that's as fast as this is, that's not bad, really. You know. Um, I'd almost call that entry level, really, which is kind of new for Apple. You know, having, like, options that are uh, both way. options that are both really competitive, but also inexpensive. Apple has historically been you ass bag. Alas. Um, so it's like, yeah, $600, but then let me go find the... Uh, -dum -bum -ba -dum. Is it in accessories? Mac? Here we go. Yeah, studio display, excuse me. It's not cinema display. That's, that's ye olde Apple. It's the studio display. Um, let's see. This is... Yeah, it's a 27-inch 5K display. Uh, so it's it's the same as ours. Right. Um, it's got... But it's got smaller bezels. Um, it doesn't have a chin. 
Um, but with standard glass, it's sixteen hundred dollars. Oh, skeleton lords, I'll pay attention. Eh, eh. Get him. Wait, when you can deal this much damage, this fight isn't that scary if you get aggressive and just go to town before the skeletons start popping up. Well, the skeletons pop up when the guys die. Really? They don't just... Yeah. I thought that they were just on a timer. That's why when you kill all three of them rapidly... It's like you have this a massive... A bajillion... Army. Yeah. Ugh. Come over here. <laughs> Your friend just nuked you. I'm gonna kill you first, cause fuck you. Woo! Why him specifically? Cause he's the mage. Oh. Dude, that staff he's got. That's some shit. It's got like, that jaw is ridiculous. Alright, more skeletons come out. And he's gonna explode everything? Okay. Now I just gotta watch out for that particular asshole right here. All right, so the wheels come from Mage Magoo. <laughs> Have at you, sir. Why didn't that hurt you at all? Get no. Oh, oh, I didn't have any stamina. <laughs> it's like, why can't I swing? No, it's all over. A scythe is just a primitive lawnmower. Right. Now we got the faster boys. Just got to take a bunch of them out. Ow, ow. <laughs> I'm immune to backstabs, bitches. <laughs> But I'm not immune. I'm not <laughs> immune to a gank fight. <laughs> Get him in a hoodie ring. Just attack when they attack to avoid. I like that the boss. music just is like I'm done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no fade out. No wind down. I think you technically did that faster because you killed them all. In rapid succession. Also, I had friends. Did you? Mm hmm. I got in because I didn't summon Ray until, like, I was ready to go there. Because the scythe is just a primitive lawnmower. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So. I mean, it was primarily intended for wheat, but, you know, you could use it for your lawn. And they did. So, let's see. Um, ew. You can get it with a tilt adjustable stand, which is like what we have. You can get a tilt and height adjustable stand. Uh, that's $2,000. So, that's... Uh, Four hundred dollars for a stand, which is kind of insane. But I suppose the materials and you a I'm Chloe. the um, I I never but I must but now, uh, the many, uh, their heard. their manufacturing quality is always top notch. Um, but they also have a Visa mount adapter for the same price as tilted as the standard stand. So. You could just get that and buy your own tilt and height adjustable stand for significantly less money. The place, don't but stone, some, either way, some the cheapest option is still sixteen hundred dollars. So I've searched with a two hundred dollar or with a six hundred dollar Mac Mini, that still comes out to about twenty two hundred dollars, which I think is about what I paid for that one. I think that's about what I paid for that iMac. So there's that, or I could um, 
because like if I go on Amazon, I went on to Amazon. I was looking up like comparable 5K displays, and they're all pretty much in that price range. Um, speak. If if it's cheaper than that, it usually it isn't as good. Like it doesn't have equivalent features. So that display is actually pretty competitive price wise. If I was okay with going down to 4K, that would be way cheaper. Talking like you can get high quality 4K monitors for like four or five hundred dollars, right? Um, maybe not like professional video editing, like calibrated colors kind of good, but you know, perfectly sufficient for uh, doing what I do for like four to five hundred dollars. I, that would save me a ton of money, which I could then put towards having a faster computer. Um, uh, where's my girl? Have you... Have you done the, um... Have you bonfired? I have not sat at it. I teleported her. And she was there. There she yeah, is. What the fuck? There she is! Hello! I like your hat. Hinga dinga dirg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, I'm here. You even the um. Buy item, please. Holy shit. Now, Power Stone, I'm curious. Are you seeing messages that I'm not seeing? Because I keep seeing you banning people, which is which is great, but I'm not seeing any messages. Like, are they popping up on chat and I'm just not seeing them? Or are they popping up in moderator? That chat might also not be logged in as me. I'm always or it might be, I'm not sure. No messages? I think he's got, I, I, if I'm remembering what I heard right, he's got like a list. Oh. And when they pop in, he's like, burn them with fire. <laughs> if that's the case, I am impressed. Uh, I don't think I need either of these, but I am gonna hold on to Freya's soul for right now. Unless the Skeleton Lord soul gives me a good pyromancy. Also, I don't know when I got two, three of those fucking butterflies. They just sort of appeared there. Um. So. Bear seek seek lest. Bear seek seek lest. Is that a ch is that a meme elsewhere? I think so. Okay. Because <laughs> like people who haven't been on our, who popped in like last the one time we were streaming this, I can't remember if it was last time or last time I was playing it. There's people who hadn't watched Bear our channel Seek before, Seek and they also went Bear Seek Wait, Seek this is the hat I wore last time. Because I was all blue. I remember you commenting. You fool! So I'm gonna wear this to this hat. No, I can't. I haven't cut my hair. It's probably too tight. Yeah, a little more vitality, I think. Yeah. Too tight. List of, he says, list of users who are in hundreds, if not thousands, of channels simultaneously. I see. Oh, I didn't actually, I bought the things and it didn't actually reinforce the flame. Which one? Hello. I would like you to reinforce my shit. Yes. I'm always. I know you're always here, because where else would you be? Anywhere else and you're likely to get stoned. We would not want that. I got ten fire orbs for tougher dudes. Eventually, I would like a second attunement slot, but that's gonna have to wait. I have more than the Travel. unicorns in a hot minute. All right, Harvest Valley. I need to find Gilligan. Get comfy. Get calm. We blorb. <laughs> Great, now I'm like <laughs> green. <laughs> um, all right, so the axe does one more point of damage now, because it is plus four. That's impressive. How bad that is? How good that is compared to my trident. Oh, it's a plus eight. Oh, and this is plus four. And sorry. Have you tried there. swinging it around? Yeah, standard. How heavy is it? Pretty heavy, but it's got good wide swings. Well, I mean, like, in terms of adding to your equip load. Oh, like, 
Oh, it's not that much heavier than the Trident. What is this? Four, four pounds, and, and that's, this is that's five. five pounds? Yeah. That's not bad. It still pulls you up into 70. Which is rough. That might be chunk roll. I'm already... You're already kind of... Pretty dumpy. Look at all these squirming shit lords. This place sucks. No. Oh, target the big man! <laughs> Do you see huge men? <laughs> I don't know what that does, but it's scary. I believe it explodes. Whoa, you almost went off the edge there. So. Please die. Thank you. I don't recall any of that shit down there being particularly useful. So, since this... Since this Mac Mini would be $600 and the studio display is $1,600, so after tax it would probably come to around... $2,400, yeah. Right. So, if I, let me go to, let me pop over to Amazon. No, oh, that was a headshot. If I say, okay, I'll go, I'll drop down to 4K, because, like, 4K is not bad by any stretch, right? Like, this is a 4K TV, and it looks pretty crisp, you know, and this thing's fucking 50 inches. Um. Wait, is this... Wait, what the hell? Hold on. Spot. Why are you so beefy? When we put it up, it was crooked. Yeah, it's crooked the other way now. Did it just settle? No, now it's alternately crooked. Finally. Might keep a broadsword. I'm not going to use it. Great sword at any point. That might be useful. Don't need a dark side or that. And I think I'm sticking to. I'm playing Dark Souls, you and you're like, here, let me put my ass in the way. <laughs> what are you trying to do? I'll tell you what the side of the screen says. Don't need a dark leggings, or the rest of Mastodon armor, or the old knight armor. Don't need that. Don't need you, don't need you. I really don't need the old sun ring, so goodbye. Alright, so let's see. What kind of... What should I be looking for here? Let's see. 4... K... Video editing... Monitor. 
Let's see. Actually, you know what? Rather than doing... Oh, wait. Where did I get that? Many. 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 Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Crossbow, please. Hello? Here it is. Can I... Squeak. Do a little crossbow sniping. That crossbow does not shoot very far. Yeah, I've... It, it, she might just be out of range. What the fuck? Oh, hello, man. Alright. Now, I'm gonna... Let me filter this down to... Again. 26 inches and above. Uh, we'll do refresh rate 60. I could go up to 120, but I don't really. You know what? No, never mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna do 120. Killed the thoughts, now to kill the simps. You know, if I'm going down in resolution, I might as well go up in frame rate, right? Oh, unless. Oh, never mind. I can't do 120. 4K does not come in 120. Dude, check out what I just got. What'd you get? Let's go. <laughs> got the gloves to match. Hell yeah. <laughs> We're going clubbing tonight. <laughs> What's up this ladder? A thingy. Hexing yeah, I rooms. I don't want an ultra wide. Ultra wide. All right, ultra fine. That's uh, there's 32 inch. I don't really think I want. Here's a view Sonic. I think Step. the view Sonics are pretty fucking good. What did I just get? Oh, I got the I got the skirt too. This one specifically says Mac ready. That's why it's that's why it's six hundred dollars. Instead of four hundred dollars, like the rest of these. <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> he died as he lived, sucking wood. <laughs> oh wait. Um. Yeah. Get out of my way! <laughs> you fucking. No, come back here. Here's a few Sonic with etc. Get shit on. Rui. Hold on. I'm gonna join me as I shop. Like, like they have any choice now. <laughs> they could just listen to you and not me. You see, when I when you're playing, I try to focus on the video game. And the things you're doing. Do you need me? Well, bye. Do all those lizards just beeline it to a hole? They might. I don't know. What a bunch of... Uh, best. Pew. 4K. For God's sake. Photo. Editing. Lizard go down the hole. Let's see. Ooh, artings.com. If you need help buying TVs or monitors, rtings.com is very useful. They have very thorough uh, reviews that go like in depth into like every single, like they'll tell you like exactly how good the HDR is. There she is. Oh. See, I told she's you not she even was... aiming at you. She's just like randomly throwing shit down. Like I told you she was way up garbo high. down on your head. It was like, she's so high up there, and you're, like, looking at a ledge that was ten feet up, like, she's not up there. Well, in my defense, you can't see her. <laughs> she's, like... Like, you can't see her on that ledge. She is, she is not visible. Alright. Proper monitor, bloody blah, 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 accurate colors.
Ooh, has HDR 10. And thus did he die. I don't really need HDR. I don't work in that color space. Uh, upper mid-range photo uh, for ASUS. Pro art display. Uh, best for photo editing on Mac is the Apple Studio display. Which, yeah, but... Give me that picture. Oh, yeah, see, like, it has a it has a couple dedicated modes that only work on Mac. So, like, if you... Ah! <laughs> Get out of there! Get out of there! Like, she Pew. can... Pew! Pew! Ow, like, why am I so weak to fire damage? Sorceresses absolutely destroy. What hole? The, the hole the lizards went down. Somebody is walking down there wearing tight leather. <laughs> These things. They, they're made out of leather. That's a floor. <laughs> well, there were, it let me lock onto the floor, so it must have been an evil floor. <laughs> All right, All so right. this is the one that they say is just straight up the best. It's a Dell. Here we go. Come with this demon. Eat flame! <laughs> you know, this dude is just Slimer. Yeah. What is, this, what is he doing? This is a very good question. Waiting for him to like do an attack, so I goes. can like have a window. What is this thing coveting? We <laughs> did not mean to do that. A lady, I believe, was the lore. Get stabbed. Where does it say that lore? Does it say it in the co in the soul? I believe so. Description. And I think there's an item associated with him. Covetous demon soul. Is it the covetous? No, the covetous serpent rings. Uh. Eden is, is an expression of desire. There once was a man whose deep affections were unrequited. He transformed to the covetous demon, which only made him lonelier than before. Why did that happen to him? Well, because... He, he was sad and lonely, and this caused him to become a bloated nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Souls, man. <laughs> oh, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> I instantly, I'm like, oh, I can see how that happens. <laughs> I'm so lonely. <laughs> five <Cheetos>. years... <laughs> five years later. <laughs> World of Warcraft. <laughs> South Park GIF. <laughs> Uh, $500 for that? That's not bad. Don't you owe at me, us, Power Stone. <laughs> they also recommended... That's... This one they... This one they I said is just flat out the best, but... <laughs> also, Braxton, coming from the guy who's like... Oh, wait, or is that Chiral? Who's always screaming Vor? Everybody. <laughs> Nobody, nobody in this chat, when I drop into the toothy vile plumes in Super Metroid, doesn't shout for. It's both of them. Yeah, <laughs> okay, that's what, that's what I was kind of starting to think. I was like, is it both of them? Oh, hey, if I upgrade like if the shield, I do, in fact, improve the amount of uh, physical damage it blocks. Yeah. That doesn't happen in any of the other Souls games where you can upgrade your shield. It's just, this is how much physical damage it do. Oh. Same three to 80. This fucker. The same. Seven points. No, more. Upgrade. This fucker is exactly the same price. What are they talking about? I'll be around. By the way, when you buy this monitor, would you like to add an accessory of Microsoft 365 family? Why is why is that a monitor accessory? 
She's about as tasty as someone covered in unobtainium can be. <laughs> I can't I believe they made play. Office a subscription. Like, why? What makes that particularly egregious is that, you know, and I know I'm an Apple user, so I'm, you know, it's people are going to be like, oh, you fucking Apple fanboy, but... Apple's office suite is free. And like you get all the same you get all the same online features. You even get the thing where like people who don't have a Mac can go online and view and share your uh your iWork documents. So having this fucking $90 a year subscription for Microsoft Office or like there's also like Libra Office and Open Office are both like Linux based free options too. Like exactly what does Microsoft Word do that's worth a hundred dollars a year? And I need to keep in mind that I can make this axe lightning. I've got a poison trident now. And why would you want that with your monitor? <laughs> Back to my deck, I mean, I mean, Majula. I'm not going to the Master Oshi submarine. Uh-huh. Got another email from... Hey, grab my deck! I got an email about... I, periodically, I get emails from, you know, like, bots for my website. You know, because I have contact forms, right? You always have bots that are like, Aha! A contact form! I will send them emails. Um, and... I got one that was like, I noticed you don't have AI on your website. <laughs> and I'm like, eat a thousand decks. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't need AI. Almost nobody needs AI on their website. Oh, this is the worst. If I have my vitality at 32, I get an equip load of a nice 85. Right. But if I have a vitality of a nice 30, I have an equip load of 83. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so let's see. So let's let's say that I go okay. Four K is fine, and I don't. I'm willing to sacrifice some of these fancy schmancy, like the dedicated sRGB mode. Um. And I'm willing to sacrifice 5k, and go with a 4k monitor. Um, the large shards. God damn it. And I'm gonna pay, so as a result, I'm gonna pay 500 instead of a thou instead of $1,500 for a monitor. You know, I'm. I'm sacrificing $1,000 worth of features. What do I get? Now, what can, what can I use that money for, for the computer, right? Right. So, I don't think that would let me get a Mac Studio. No, they start at $2,000, which is a bummer. Um, so I would be looking at a high-end Mac Mini. I suppose I could get a MacBook Pro. No, I think those are I think those are hitting the two thousand dollar range too. Did I come from that way? I turned around. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna hit buy. All right. Choose your Mac Mini. I choose you, Pikachu. All right. What's your What's your top What's your highest level option? Uh, we're still in M2. We're not in M3 yet. I think the studio might be M3 now. All right. So that's $1,200, which is still <coughs> in budget. That has 16 gigabytes of unified memory to start with. So it was $500 for the monitor. So I have... And it was six hundred dollars for the computer, so I have what nine hundred dollars of wiggle room. <coughs> okay. Uh, 
can you? Oh my god. Can you come down here, sir? Okay. So, I can get... I'm getting to... murdered because my guy won't switch his goddamn weapon! <laughs> I'm sitting here... Right, right, right on the D-pad, right, 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 and he's just like, No, my crossbow, who are we, you, you? <laughs> um, I mean... Ow. I'm not, I... I don't think, I don't think that those features are essential, but I do think they're good. I've been using, like, I have basically this monitor over there already um it because i that computer is an all-in-one so i have so hey I, nerdbird hey nerdbird i haven't seen you in a while yeah so like i've seen i've basically seen this monitor i know that it's a really really wow. good monitor um so like when they're like, yeah, it's a $1,500 monitor, I believe it. I'm like, okay, that that makes sense to me. And then I go look at other 5K monitors, and they're in roughly the same price range. Like, other monitors with comparable feature sets. So they're not like, you know, it's not like you could go get this monitor for like $600 if it wasn't an Apple monitor. Um, so there are definitely some features of this monitor that are really nice that I would be sacrificing. Um, but, so the question is, are those sacrifices worth it to get a more oomphy computer? And the question is, how oomphy a computer The fuck was I that? <laughs> so 500, so this would be... So I can go up to $1,500. The main thing that I look at is maybe increasing the memory. The storage is a little low. It's only half a terabyte of SSD storage, but I can, I keep most of my files on external hard drives right now as it is. So that's not a huge problem. That might even be 500 gigabytes. I'm not sure. Um, it's got gigabit ethernet, which is fine. We don't have, we don't need, we don't have anything close to 10 gigabits, so. Um, so I think, so I could upgrade to the 12 core, 19 core M2, or I could increase the 32 gigabytes <laughs> of memory. These fellows think they're being sneaky. Who <laughs> gets shot? Ew. Oh no! Broken buttons! That's the worst. Because it's like such a small thing, right? I see you. Swine! And, to be clear, for most people, I think the studio display is way too much money. Like, that's, that's ridiculous for most people, because... Like, the only reason I would be willing to pay that at all is because I'm an artist. Like, that's my whole deal. Like, that is the number one thing Josh, I use that computer for. I'm on your so. Yeah, it's got you want to I uh, so, oh, yeah. a quality I monitor know. is critical. I, I let you. Is, is mission critical for me. All right. uh, at least inconvenient. That's, that feels more like it. The least inconvenient time. Um, which, I think that's true for a lot of Apple products, where it's like, <coughs> most people don't need X, right? Right. Like, you know, if you're, you know, if you would like to, if you would like to get into the Apple ecosystem for whatever reason, maybe you're sick of, maybe you're sick of Windows, and you're ready to look into alternatives, but, uh... You know, you've you've tried Linux, and you, you've tried Linux, and it's just not working for you. They do have they do have entry level options now. Um. So it's not like it's not like it used to be, 
like I would say even like 10 years ago where it was like Apple Apple made exactly one thing and it was like Porsches right like they don't make they don't make anything but high-end sports cars right um, so like if so like most people don't need that but they've started getting into they've started getting into more entry-level stuff in particular I know that they're trying to make a push towards affordable laptops because of the whole because uh, Chromebooks exploded during um, COVID because students needed a way to do school and so schools were just like we need to get these kids computers half of these kids don't have a way to do like internet things so buy all the Chromebooks because they're cheap and start handing them out. Um, <laughs> like when Chromebooks exploded during COVID because it turned out that they weren't built very well. No, that's Samsung's. Uh, <laughs> um, but like when when Blue Ridge first when COVID first hit and Blue Ridge was doing that, like they bought as many Chromebooks as they could, and they were just like. We we only have so many. If you if you need a computer, please let us know and we'll get you one. But at this point now, it's one to one. They have a Chromebook there for every single student. Like if you go to this school, they just hand you a Chromebook. It, like it's not yours, obviously. Like it's being lent to you by the school. But like you show up, they give you a Chromebook. This is how you do school now. Um. Oh, God. <laughs> Come at me, nerds. Yeah, get through this gauntlet. <laughs> of so like, poison. So, like, you think about it, though, right? You think about it, though. That's, like, this is a small town school, and there's, like, I think a few thousand kids in it. Like, there's a lot of kids. So, at what? 300 bucks a pop for Chromebooks? That's... Uh, I do. I can do math. I can do math. Add a couple of zeros, right? That's th that's three hundred. That's hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? From one tiny school. Hey, why are you a Koopa? Why wouldn't I be a Koopa given the choice? Um, watch out for that shield. Eat shit. Oh, I'm sad his head doesn't just come <laughs> off when you do that. Yeah, I should do a sick decapitation animation. <laughs> He's a Koopa because shells make him invincible. <laughs> um, so yeah, so like, obviously, you know, a company like Apple is going to see that kind of success. Remember, oh, there you go. Oh, there's a guy there. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't see him at all. Silverback shield. Press circle to Silver. stun grab the hollow. We don't have a circle button. <laughs> it's... Better than my shield in my normal shield in almost every way, <laughs> except uh, way heavier <laughs> and less physical protection, like more than five times heavier. Um, so, yeah, of course, a company like Apple is going to see that kind of money being like there and be like. We could get a piece of that if we could just make good quality entry level computers. Um, so I understand that's something that's been kind of prioritized at Apple R and D is trying to get, trying to get, uh, trying to capture some of that uh, uh, Chromebook money, that school, that school money. Um, Come, Ray. We must do a glorious battle again. But, yeah, that freaking, like, a, a 1500 uh, excuse me, a $1,600 monitor, m the vast majority of people don't need that. But <coughs> it really helps in my line of work. So there are, there are some features that legitimately I would be bummed to be giving up getting another monitor. So the question is... Would the features, would the stuff that I could get from spending more on the computer instead of the monitor be worth it? 
but the issue that I have is the issue that I have is that oh here we go I'll shut up for bosses is that fair get out of the poison you into the cell <laughs> there we go because these are the exciting bits kind of maybe not quite as exciting when you have bring in like a small army <laughs> and you're just throwing shit from a distance <laughs> Pew! Get out of the poison, you imbeciles! <laughs> it looks like Jester Thomas has been poisoned. <laughs> you are a fool! Because, like, you can tell because his health isn't, like, actually dropping, so it's still... Wow, that's doing so much damage to him! Poison Get out is... of the poison! Poison is no joke. <laughs> oh, he's been poisoned again. <laughs> I wonder why! <laughs> <laughs> what a what a doofus. Just keep her busy. <laughs> One more. Ah to do it. Oh, there she goes. Good job, Ray! Well done. Look out for Jester Thomas! <laughs> He's gonna do the thing! <laughs> I don't know if that hurts you, but I don't wanna find out. <laughs> You are a fool. I mean, that's true. That is literally his profession, <laughs> to be a fool. It doesn't make it any better. <laughs> All right. That just means he chooses to be a fool. In so fact, you, that's worse. Are you doing Mr. Golem, or are you doing the Iron King? No, I'm just getting it up here and okay. finishing this area up. So you're going to go do Lost Sinner then? Yes. Okay. Interesting. Um, so, the... So, here's the problem that I'm having, though, is because this would be my first Apple Silicon computer, right? Because I'm still... I got that computer right at the tail end of Intel. Like, a, like six months after I bought that, the M1 iMacs came out, which I was pissed. Because they, they hadn't announced when they were going to be released yet. So I was like, I don't know if I can wait, right? Because I, I bought that because I needed it for work. Um, I was like, I don't know if I can wait. Uh, so I had, so I got like the last generation Intel before they switched to the Apple Silicon. Um, but to be honest, it's probably good that I didn't because they were only, tw the iMacs are only 24 inch and they hadn't, uh, they hadn't released the higher end MacBooks yet. Do you sell good yeah. shit yet? Well. Um, fuck you. <laughs> no, man. Shut up. I hate you. <laughs> what about, uh... I got a bunch of Twinkling Titanite, but... Do you have anything that needs it? I don't think so. I think I need... Isn't there, like, lar it's large Twinkling Titanite? Nope. There, there's just Twinkling Titanite. Your Twinkling Titanite armor can only be leveled up I five know. times. So, oh, this is just normal Titanite. I thought this was Twinkling yeah. for some reason. Shut up. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time if I want to waste would your you, time. Would, <laughs> would you like some decongestant, sir? No. <laughs> um, I so. can't <laughs> at him good enough if I'm not congested. <laughs> I'm old and crying. What the fuck is that there? Um, now I gotta go this way. So, yeah, so the issue that I have is that I've never used Apple Silicon, and it's so much different. Like, they don't even, they don't put on here, like, when you go to buy, like, a, an Intel, right? They tell you the clock speed on it, right? So it's like you buy a, like, it's like a 8-core... <coughs> you know, 3.2 gigahertz processor, they don't tell you the clock speeds on here because that's largely irrelevant. Because it's a completely different approach to hardware. So, um, so, as a result, I have no idea how fast this thing is. I know it's fast because even, like, the baseline, uh, Stop shooting me. Like when they released the when they released the MacBook Airs, like the first ones that had the M1s in them. Right. 
<clears throat> the entry level laptops outpaced the uh, i9 processors from the previous generation. So it's. they're stupid fast. But, like, I don't know. Like, the base models only have, like, 8 gigabytes of RAM. But I don't know if that's good or not. Like, it sounds bad by modern standards, but all the hardware works differently because that RAM is soldered onto the board. <coughs> you, gotta, um, you gotta solder your RAM. Like, it's, it's really, it's interesting because uh, the Apple Silicon approach now is kind of going back to, like, Commodore 64 era computing paradigms, where it's all just, like, soldered to the board you know you don't they didn't you didn't really have modular components i don't feel like fighting you right now please go away <laughs> you know modular components is a <coughs> relatively modern uh computing paradigm um so like this th this whole thing is like completely new so i have no idea if like how the various components work together and what I actually need. <coughs> what would be really useful to me would be if I could, like, rent one <coughs> and then, like, daily drive it for a month and see how it does. Um, but, like, where can you do that? Like, who, nobody, you know, nobody does rent to buy for this. And even if they did, that's always unbelievably expensive. So... Nerdbird says they've got 700 hours on each Souls. Well, one and three and two, same amount totaled up between both. Oh, not both. this shit again. <laughs> o uh, OG and Scholar. Yeah, this seems to be kind of the black jeep of black jeep, the black sheep of the of the Souls games. Maybe even the whole Soulsborne series. But you know, like I said, I've said that. Uh. This is my favorite souls. Like it just has Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking jeep. <laughs> that, that is kind of true. Uh, also, Jeep... Well, you know what? It's a bad name for a bad car. There's exactly one good kind of Jeep, and that's the, that's the like, canvas top off-road Jeeps. You know, the Jeeps that used to just be Jeeps. Like, you'd go buy a Jeep, and that was what you got. And then Chrysler bought Jeep, and now they're terrible. Fucking Jeep stealing our jobs, dating our daughters. I saw my daughter out in a Jeep the other day. Disgraceful. Have them in you. But, like, yeah, literally, I think the only way that I'm gonna be able to. Uh, no. Bad. Sit. Like, literally the only way I think I'm going to be able to figure out how to, how, uh... Ah, uh, doggos. I, I'm just going to have to get a hold of one and, like, so I can daily drive it for a month and find out. I think Elden Ring is probably the least scary Souls game to get into since it's open world, but it's also the one where I found myself least compelled to actually try against most of the bosses. Um... Mm. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess you've never beaten Elden Ring because <laughs> you can't just. Oh, I accidentally the boss, or I was able to skip the boss, or. <laughs> like, like I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of why that, like, where that might come from, like, psychologically, right? Like... 
get fucked. <laughs> to get into, not finish. Oh, you mean like, like, be like, yeah, this boss is awesome, kind of a thing, as opposed to like, just, as opposed to just like, doing the boss because you have to do the boss, right? Or am I, am I totally off base there? I mean, yes and yes. You can't be, you can't be right and off base. <laughs> That's interesting. Because I like a lot of the bosses in Elden Ring. Like, uh, the fight against, at, as much as it was like, enough! Enough! I've been playing this for so long. I did like the fight, the battle against Godwin. Not Godwin. Godfrey. Well, there are too many. Like every Fake boss, outs. every boss is like God. It's like why stop? It's Godfrey, Godwin, Godric, Godlo, Godman, God stink. <laughs> Elden Ring was the only one that I understood. <laughs> Every other Souls game has been like, uh, uh, um, I'm here and I have to do this. What? Okay, I guess I'm just doing it. Elden Ring was the only one I was like, oh yeah, I have to do this fight because I have to fight these people because this is the reason I have to fight them. Yeah, like in this game, it starts off and it's like, okay, why am I here? Well, like, what's my objective? My objective is to break the curse. What curse? Like, the curse of going hollow? Because I have a solution to that. Don't die. Yeah, don't <laughs> like, come here. Yeah, don't come here. Don't stab shit. Just be a merchant. There's other places. There are merchants all over here who are like, I came here to do business. And shit sucks. And it's like, well, go home. <laughs> Is the curse that you're stuck here? What's the curse? What was the what was the goal of Dark Souls One? To rekindle the flame. Why? Because you were the chosen one. Because you're supposed to. That's it. It was like, come here and fix things. It's like, uh, okay. And okay. then it was like, right. Okay. So yeah, like the guy tells you, like your job is to take Gwyn's place. Why? Why should I? Yeah, why? What's, what do I get? What do I get? What does the world get? What's the point of this? And you're like, okay, well, maybe I'll find out when I win. No. <laughs> no, when you win, you do the default and things. Spoilers, everyone. Uh, you burn to a crisp and die. <laughs> because that's what happened to Gwyn. <laughs> like, the... I, I feel like the stories... Like, the only way to get the deep lore of... The Elden Ring games is to try to piece it together from like reading tool tips. <laughs> Otherwise, like the actual story is kind of it's very Super Mario Brothers. It's like here's your bad guy, go kill him. The end. Destroy him. We. What if that went in and killed McDuff? <laughs> like it just. Do -do 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 whoosh. <laughs> I just heard, <laughs> he's like, mm, my flame. <laughs> I will miss my flame. Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> like, I'm not saying like Elden Ring had this like, you know, fantastic. Thou <laughs> <laughs> art a theme. <laughs> I'm not saying like Elden Ring had this fantastic like, Final Fantasy grade seven hours of exposition story for which I am thankful, but uh. You know, I don't think it. I don't. It, it was pretty much on the same level. I think. You know. You know, your mileage may vary. Like if you got, if you felt like you had a clue what you were doing more, with Elden Ring, or with with, whatever Souls. <clears throat> My problem with Elden Ring was that there were too many final boss fakeouts, where it yeah. was like, like you get up there and you're like all right and you're thinking oh this is the this is the earth tree so this is the final area well i need to make sure i'm ultra prepared for this because it's like the last battle then you defeat the guy and it's like 
Oh wait, no, this is the final no, Well, At first it's like, well, too bad, you can't go in here yet. And then they're like, oh, you need to go over here. And it's, <laughs> which, you know, that's all right. I'm so okay it's like, that. oh, okay. So there's way more game now. That's cool. There's more areas to explore. Like I thought I was done, but sweet. But then it's like, <laughs> then it's like, oh, you gotta fight Godwin now. Okay. Oh, Godwin has a second phase. There's basically an entire second boss. Here comes Horalu, and then you defeat that, and then you get in. It's like, all right, now fight Radagon. And then it's like, oh, never mind, you're fighting the Erd Tree Beast. <laughs> like, stop! <laughs> Let's be win the game! Enough of this nonsense. Like, I guess, I guess that's fair. Like, you didn't know who he was, because, like, the game does not spend a lot of time telling you shit, really. Um... Like, I kind of know who he is, but I legitimately can't tell you if I know that because... I legitimately, I legitimately can't tell you if I know that because I talked to somebody in the game who told me who he was, or if I read it on a wiki. Well, that's the thing. Elden Ring did a better job of illuminating you by talking with people. So if you're... That is true. Elden Ring, I think, delivered a lot more of its story through gameplay where he has like the souls games all were kind of like uh yeah just like i said read tool tips there's the story yeah whereas elden ring like the people oh, told you, you the people that you encounter told you a lot more like about i learned what a was lot about on. like radagon through just talking to people like turtle friend right told you I think your old friend told you the most yeah like when you talk to these dudes they really don't tell you anything they, they'll tell you kind of like oh yes I came here to be a merchant but that doesn't really tell you about anything about the world that you're in whereas like you could you could walk up to any given NPC in Elden Ring and they'd be like would you like some exposition <laughs> and it's like yes please wasn't there a bonfire in one of these no I swear there was a bonfire you could hit before this fight. Weird. There, <clears throat> there might be a shortcut to a bonfire. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Hollow Knight, Knight has a fantastic story. Yep. To the point where I find it legitimately disappointing that it's so hard. Um, I don't, which, and, which it didn't really need to be, because there's, like, it did that thing where if you die, it did the souls thing, where if you die, you lose shitloads of progress, like, tons of progress. Here we go. I forget if you can backstab these guys. They're very tall, so I don't know. Oh, is he gonna fall off? Yep. Hey, I can poison him though. Nice. Eat shit. But the fact that he fell down there is problematic. Oh, did I didn't see? Did you did you poison up your channel or staff? Yeah. Where are the other two? I'm worried because they're gonna jump up here at some. Is there? Can you push him off because your your buddy there, the spellcaster, because he will sit there and be useless. I want at least one of them dead. Drop down. Ruin Sentinel, Yahoo! Just die, just die, just die. <laughs> there we go. All right, one down. Yay. Here come the other two. Try to keep them over on this side of the room. Like, not this side, the other side. Yeah, I'm, I'm heading okay. that way. But, uh... Felicia's ruining the strat. God damn it, Felicia. And now that one's going over there, too. Cool. Explode! <laughs> Come over that here. Did, Come that over did here. Good. Or if you, uh... You don't necessarily lose much progress from dying in Hollow Knight unless you're bad at finding benches. 
Uh, no, it's not the... It's the, um... It's the loss of your, like... It's the loss of your souls, basically. Right. That is that is the rough part. Um, I'm gonna take that much damage. Wait. It's it's really easy to lose track of the fact that like you need to take care of these. Oh, there's <laughs> souls or whatever they're called. I forget. Bellclair. Well, now he's down here and he's getting reamed. <laughs> Get shot on. Okay. <laughs> um but the game is the game is brutal. Um especially towards the end of the game, which I think is a bummer because they spent so much time making a really good story and really cool environments and it's just with some of the best music I've ever heard in a video game. It's it's just it's so g good, but a lot of people just aren't going to be able to experience it because it's out of their it's out of their difficulty class um Woo. Put my hands in the air so like i i you know it's one of this is one of those games where i i just say you know if you find this game to be too hard don't give up on it go get an easy mode mod and use that so that you can experience the rest of the game you know, I am, I am perfectly, I am perfectly willing to, uh, I am perfectly willing to, like, advise people, like, yeah, this game is really good, but definitely cheat. Because, you know, like, Final Fantasy 15, fantastic game, one of my favorite Final Fantasies. Uh, the final boss is, acts is, like, actual trash. Um, so, yeah, just cheat the final boss don't feel bad if you don't feel bad if this sucks so bad you don't want to finish just cheat your way to victory at that point no <laughs> it's explodey time well, these assholes kill themselves when they explode still uh this is not the worst uh explodey this isn't the worst batch of explodey dudes no uh, that would be in the dragon airy. <laughs> Which is like... Why, though? <laughs> like, th that alone... I think makes these enemies, like, one of the worst, if not the worst, in the game. Because they also, like, instantly destroy your gear. Because they do so much fucking damage. Are you selling good stones yet, you <laughs> dumb bint? Wow. Yeah, the hardest stuff is definitely I optional, but... I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> um, Your artists do not save you. <laughs> there's an item you can get... Or, or there's At some point in the game, you get... The, the bonfire will start to show you... <laughs> Just buy 12? Like, how, how good can your pyromancy... I believe it goes up to plus 10... Do you have any new pyromancies? No. <laughs> there are a few things more fun to see on a suspended bridge than a suicide bomber coming at you. Rawr! Oh. I'm gonna Is warn you Here, ahead of time. Them. However. Because I think that it's fair to do so. This is this is that gentlemanly agreement thing. When you get on the one bridge in the dragon area that's kind of shifting like this. Oh I know about that bridge. And you start like right, we're right. Just you get on it and it's like your character Whoa. Whoa. your character will slow down mm -hmm. so you might think all right well i'm gonna run across this bridge Don't. <laughs> you will jump the instant you hit the run button you will leap into the air you don't run you just jump <laughs> and if uh given the game <laughs> that could be very bad <laughs> so just take your time across that bridge I have no. <laughs> I warn you because that is pure bullshit. Uh, I'll tell you something about that bridge. Mm. What? Uh, it's a trap. Oh, really? I just went across it. I mean, it's a trap if you're a dick. 
Okay. Like, <laughs> it's a crap. <laughs> I don't understand. Um, when you get there and you're thinking of the stuff you can do, ask yourself, am I being a dick to these dragons right now? And if the answer is yes, you're gonna have a bad time when you reach that bridge. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. No. I busted a couple of eggs and I didn't get anything from it, so I stopped. I was like, this is this is pointless. Go over there. Go. <laughs> this feels like a trap. Uh oh. Uh oh. It was slightly trap like. You are a charlatan, sir. <laughs> Please get your head out of my dick. <laughs> I know you're dying, but your last your last thought shouldn't be about the dick of the man that killed you. <laughs> you may have killed me, but you can't stop my lust. What are we hearing? I never catch. Oh, is them. that the? That's the um. There, there it is. The gargoyles. Yep, there they go. My last playthrough of this, I could not figure out how to get to the Belfry. I couldn't remember where you go to do that. I can't well, target that him. That dude's just going to work. <laughs> he's, he's making a beeline for... <laughs> he's like, oh, fuck no. <laughs> um, I'm trying so. to remember this area. No spoilers. Because down no there's tips. where I was. There's the well that I can punch open. It's a race. So we gotta we have to Free. remember our stuff. It's a kind of a gentleman's agreement, so we're not being total dicks to each other and be like, where do we go? Fuck you. <laughs> you know, but like We don't want we don't uh, we don't want I like chat to give either player an advantage. Hello, sir. Be gone. Oh, good that your good that your crossbow one shots them. Yeah, I was gonna be very upset <laughs> if I shot him and he was like, "Aha!" <laughs> <laughs> so, an interesting thing that I've kind of been that I've kind of been doing in my very limited free time, uh, that. Folks, uh, in, that you and folks in chat might be interested in, is I've started developing a virtual novel engine, but it's sort of a it's sort of a uh, hybrid virtual novel RPG engine. There it goes. So like, you can give. So like you have like you can put characters in it that can appear and talk and stuff, right? Like a normal virtual novel or like a normal visual novel. But you can also give them like stats and stuff. So you could be like, okay, so this character has like a strength stat. No, you don't. And you know, like um and it's all very modular, so like for this virtual novel you could be like, Oh yeah, this is very D D inspired or whatever, so I'll just give them D D stats. Or for another you could be like, Okay, and this they'll have like body, mind, soul, like in uh Big eyes, small mouth, right? Um, which is a real RPG system. Go look it up. It's it's basically anime the RPG. Um, so like it's designed to be very modular, so that you like you aren't like uh, locked into one system of like stats or whatever. Um, thought that was Persona. I mean. You're not wrong. Um, I never played any of the Persona games. The first one where I saw it and I was kind of like, oh, I might want to play that. Then uh, I heard about some stuff about it and I was like, eh, that kind of makes me uncomfy. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to pass. Um, like some of it looks really cool. Like the art style is pretty fucking sick. And uh the music I've heard sounds pretty dope. Um, and some of the story looks pretty good. Like, 
Honestly, when was the last time you picked up an RPG because you thought the gameplay looked good? <laughs> um... I don't know. Like, I feel like the vast majority of RPGs are sold primarily on their artistic, you know, like their their graphics and character designs and story and which is fine. You know, I'm not saying like it's just like RPGs tend to have very similar mechanics. Um, right. So there they they, so they trade very heavily in some of these guys blow up like fire explosions and those kill themselves. These dudes they they just they sort of puff. Yeah, they go and boom. Hurt, and it hurts like hell, but then they get back up and they do it again. Watch your buddy Pappy stream the very first one. Uh, and the combat music is super tedious because it has very audible English lyrics. Oh yeah, I hate I hate that. With the occasional exception, um, there was the, oh what game was it? There was a game I played. I think it was an RPG. It was like an action RPG, and I think the fine it was the final boss that had this epic kind of like. It was kind of pop music-y, but it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't like that sort of vapid, like, love song pop. It was, like, really energetic, like, you can do it kind of music, you know what I mean? Uh, and it had lyrics, but I think it, it, it felt like it fit that fight in the same way that it would fit, like, a final boss fight in an anime, right? And that I thought, that I thought worked, but, like... I wouldn't want that in, I wouldn't want that in, like, the main combat. That would get really, that would get really old really quick. Um, so yeah. Um. What's interesting about, uh, what's interesting about, like, most RPG, like, when you have turn-based RPG battles, right? You really have to make, like, the first 15 seconds of your song really good because that's what most people are only ever going to hear most of the time. <laughs> yeah. I'm right over here. I wonder if that's why they stopped using that intro riff for their... Because most people just hear... Yeah. Alright, well, I'll just uh, give you a shoost if I can. Oh, you can't, it's too far. Break all these. <laughs> because I see your fire arrows <laughs> flying through the air. Get ready to get exploded. How um, about now, sir? Thunk. Alright. Why don't you come take a swing at me? I dare you! So... So yeah, like, uh... Alright, fine, I'll blow you up. <laughs> ah, ah, ow. Yeah, why, why do you seem to be so weak to fire? Like, all the fire dudes are just annihilating you. One saw a comment section for Nightmare King Grimm's theme from Hollow Knight, and one of the comments read, Oh, so this is what the song sounds like past the first 15 seconds. I presume... I presume that's for the opposite reason as, like, <laughs> the, the Final Fantasy problem is that, like, get... player gets wrecked almost immediately. Because <laughs> that fight goes on forever. Unless there's some cheese strat that I don't know about. Uh, I'm trying to... If I recall correctly, I think that was one of the longest fights that I had to get through. Because I am proud. I am proud 
There aren't many games where it's like, I'm proud of my achievements on Steam. I am proud of my achievements on Hollow Knight. Sort of like, sort of like everyone's first attempt at the Sands fight. <laughs> -na 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 -na. <laughs> my, my attempt at the Sands fight is almost legendary here. <laughs> like, there have only been a couple of times where Panda has had to kind of stop me and be like, you, Ow. like, need to, st like, we go to intermission so that I can tell you that you're being a huge asshole and you need to, like, stop. It was that and Earthbound. <laughs> um, because chat was making me so angry. <laughs> it wasn't even the fight. Like, the fight was upsetting me. Like, the, I think the fight was priming me to be really angry, and then some things were said in chat, and I was just like, no, d <laughs> Oh, shit. I need to go back up. <laughs> Actually, Sans usually kills a player before the That's fight true. starts. Yeah. Wait, just... He, <laughs> yeah. I really like that he does the thing that everybody says, why don't antagonists do? And he just throws his hardest attack at you immediately like and then when you actually manage to go back in time and like he shows avoid you it he's like huh i always wondered why people don't usually do that and <laughs> like, it's like he shows oh no you his, <laughs> he shows you his final form immediately uh, uh, uh. um but yeah so the like, I like the idea of being able to make visual novels, um, especially as an artist who does uh, the type of work that naturally that lends. I guess he's coming <laughs> coming with us, uh, especially since I'm an, I'm an artist who does the kind of work that naturally lends itself towards visual novels. You know, or or visual novel type games. Like, oh my leg! You know, like say. <laughs> Hoonie Pop, for example. <laughs> um, so I was like, it'd be cool if I had, like, a visual novel engine of my own to work with. And, uh, but then I was like, but I don't want it to just be... There is. Get over here and get cheesed. But I don't want it to just be, like, that sort of thing. Can I, is there something new that I could bring to the table? I was like, what if I, like pack in, what if I, like, pack in some RPG elements where you could have, like, stats and, you know, maybe, like, do battle and stuff like that. Because you need stats in a virtual novel anyway. Visual novel. You need stats in a visual novel anyway to track things like how much a character likes you, that kind of a thing. So it's like, what if I make that really modular so that you can make it pretty much whatever stats you want? Where are you aiming, sir? Um... And I was like, okay, well now I'm making it so you can be have whatever stats you want. So what if it could be like RPG stats? And then you could have like, you know, maybe you could do like some kind of like battle thing, right? Um. Holy shit, I've been using a lot of bolts. So so yeah, I've been kind of I've been kind of working on that. He's like, huh? You look pissed. Did somebody just kill you for the tenth time? Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, so like I thought that would be kind of cool. So I've been I've been poking at that. Uh, I've been poking at that, seeing what I can do <laughs> with that system. Mmm, the iridescent jizz water. Weirdly, do you know what the hardest thing that I'm trying to figure out how to do is? Text. Like, making it so that text isn't just words that appear. Making it so that you can, like, have effects. You know, like, uh, like, make... Sort of like in Undertale, where you could have, like, floaty text, or you could have, like, shaky text and that kind of stuff. Like, being able to do that sort of stuff. That's what, I, that's what I'm kind of, like, trying to figure out. Which, I suppose, there's probably something for that in okay, the asset here store. Here comes that boy. Sit your ass down. <laughs> I suppose I could just... I suppose I could just go to the asset store and try to find something and buy it, but... You know, I would feel better... I would feel better if I just did it myself. 
because then, especially because if I do it myself and I finish it, I might even be able to sell it. Throw that shit on the app store, or on the on the on the asset store, and then that'd be money. Fuck your shit. If you're good at something, never do it for free. Or you know, that's bullshit. And labors labors of love are perfectly valid. Oh, I totally missed that torch. <laughs> if you love something, don't do it for free. Do it for blowjobs. There, there, you know, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I do commissions for blowjobs. Like not not one though, like. You know, <laughs> like it would have to be pro a proportional, you know, a it would have to be a proportional number, number of blowjobs. <laughs> like, you know, like a couple hours of commission work, maybe that's a blowjob. Five hours, you know, two and a half blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> what is half a blowjob? Half a blowjob is where they get me almost to the edge and then I have to finish. <clears throat> then I have to finish. <laughs> So if you're in chat and you've been wanting to get a and you've been wanting to get a commission from me, I have an offer uh, for you. <laughs> but uh, they're a little on the pricey side, which I get. Uh, t talk to me about my blowjob plan. <laughs> Was there some? Yeah, way back at the thing. But I'm worried that he's going to explode. <laughs> Who? My summon. I'm afraid I'm gonna bring him over here, and he's gonna be like, THERE ARE GUYS OVER HERE! Well, maybe you should just kill those guys. It's so scary, though. <laughs> well, what's the worst that could happen? Uh, I could explode! <laughs> you know, I will say this about the Souls game. Like, every now and then, you discover that there is, like, a sliver of mercy. Um... When your equipment breaks, it doesn't break forever. You can go get it repaired. You know. So it's not like it's not like you have to use repair powder and don't let your equipment break or else it's gone forever. They did make it so that you can just go get it repaired, right? Oh, look at you. Which, you know, that's nice. They didn't have to do that. They could have been a lot shittier, but they so They didn't only want to screw you. <laughs> Only some of the time did they want to spread cheeks and ram cock and ass. Like, yeah, cause, yeah, Nerdbird, cause like, you know what? Uh, like, what are you using money for anyway? Right, you're, you, a lot of the stuff that you're using money for is to, is to bring you pleasure. You know, you go buy cake, cake is delicious. So, you know, buy you, more liquor. You might be you might be using your money for blowjobs anyway, so why not just skip the middleman? Just <laughs> yeah, bring back the barter system. Yeah, exactly. But specifically for blowjobs. Yeah, it's like the barter of goods and services. Blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> Would you move your tuchus? It's a nice tuchus, but get it over here. All right, here we go. Dude, that feather. That is the featheriest feather. <laughs> that is a god tier feather right there. Ow. Alright, Luke, deal. <laughs> Tank the hits. I like that there's no particular challenge to getting the advantage in this boss fight. You just have to notice. Right? Right. It's not even an advantage, it's just leveling the playing field. Yeah. Because otherwise you have to do this fight in the dark. Which is how I the, how I did this fight the first time. Because I did ah, not notice. My stamina's... Lucatiel, save me! <laughs> Lucatiel, be more aggro. I explode her. Oh, yeah, she's a little resistant to fire. And she stopped being poisoned. Oh, oh come on! 
poisoned. How are you not poisoned yet? <laughs> are you resistant to poison too? Because I swear to God. She might be. There we go. Now die. <laughs> okay. Fight fight one. Winning winning fights against the great lords with poison. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so lame in a sense because it's like especially in like Elden Ring where they're supposed to be like oh these are living gods of great power and you're just like off in the corner pew pew <laughs> pew poison with poison and arrows and then they come running at you and you're like whoop dodge 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 <laughs> what if I got you off I'll write you a short story of loss and revenge what if I just get you to half mast? A sad origin story. <laughs> I didn't see what I just got. Beat the undead chariot with a poison arrow and makes the end of that fight hilarious. Booch. I don't think we're probably not gonna even bother with that whole area. I would think. I don't think there's anything up there that's of potential value to either of us. Hmm. Where are we at? Three hours? Go get a drink. Well, go get a drink then. You pleb. I am pleb. Alright. Oh, I can upgrade my axe again. That's good. So now I have something good against, uh... It's getting better against big man Mc... N not poisonable demon dude. I'll be around. Oh, you will, will you? Hey, where's Tits McGee? There she is. You've been long. Well. Do you have. <laughs> I hate you so much. I will end you if. I'd end you if I no, had a choice. Alright, so that's Freya and Sinner out of the way. I would like another pyre. Another couple pyromancy flames. Or just get me up there. Do you have any new spells by any chance? No. I'm always here. <laughs> I'm always here. Oh yes. Do you have any souls to use? Soul of the lost sinner, Lord Soul. Oh skeleton lord. Um Again. I like that in this game when you're using souls it doesn't kick you out of the menu so I don't have to do all this complex menuing This demon I don't need anything of. Boosh. Mytha. I don't think I need. Menuing. It's a fun word to say. Uh, you know what? I'm not an advanced pyromancer. So if they've got pyromancies, then fuck it. And I don't think I need anything from the Lost Center. Noise. You know what? Fuck it. Souls for days. The soul, yours, I own you. Damn. Right, 40 vitality now. That's the hot shit. Uh, I guess some more endurance. 
Oh no, I need to start putting into adaptability. Okay. Alright, now, I need to see something. No, I can't just get in there. That's bullshit. Because I think Ark is incorrect and you actually need to go into the dream and get the thing. Because I didn't have a Lord Soul. I had the soul of Duke's Dear Freya. Which is a Lord Soul, isn't it? What? Which is a Lord Soul, isn't it? No. Freya's not actually a Lord herself. Which is why I'm now sitting here thinking, oh, do both of us have to go all the way back there? Because I noticed that uh, Duke's Tear Freya soul looked like a normal boss soul, but the Lost Sinner soul was that big, red, flamey thing. No, you don't have to go back there. There's something you can get by going back there, but it's optional. There, there, are, four, there are four people you have to beat, and the Spoder is one of them. Well, I know you have to beat her. Um, now, let's see. Oh. Gilligan should be here. Right. There he is. I think There's you're making more. more progress than me. If you play your cards right, you could probably take the lead. Wait. The name? All right. I am. What <clears throat> do you have there? Uh, Manhattan. Nice. You want to go down? Fine. You need a but you're What have I done to deserve this? I'm sorry. He <laughs> just I, I Oh no! He took my soul <laughs> Fair enough. What? Well that just Oh did he Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. oh, I don't have enough for the big one. Shit. <laughs> I am sorry, my sir. Uh, huh? I will say this about these cameras, uh, I though. Oh. I know I'm not, like, it's as happy with them as I could oh. be. Anybody else? But, uh, they're still miles Just above last. the last cameras that we had. <laughs> Although, who knows? Maybe those cameras wouldn't have been so terrible if we hadn't had an awful lighting environment. <laughs> Because we do have to admit, do I have that was kind of us not knowing how to do oh, yeah. I camera. Stuff. Oh, that's a heavy crossbow. It was so crazy to me when we put in the lights. And I was like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was so dark in here. Because like, it didn't feel dark. Yeah. It felt bright as hell. Um, I want to go to Doors of Pharaohs. But like... What we have learned is that if you want to have, like, a face cam, right, and you want to have, you know, uh, and you want, like, good quality picture, it basically needs to be sunlight bright where you are. Because the darker it is, the worse your picture quality is. And I just, I didn't know that. It wasn't until finally I got completely fed up with how crap the picture quality was. Which, by the way, that point where I said, I'm so fucking sick of this, these cameras looked better than this, why are they terrible, was when I did the uh, controller tape can't succeed video. Like, and I was looking at it and I'm like, this is actual garbage. Why is this so bad? So that was when I started doing research. Ah, excuse me. That was when I started doing like deep research. I guess I'll pick up this rubbish to remind me of my previous fuck ups. Whoop, that's a ledge. And it was one of those things like, you know when you ask artists for advice and the artists always say the same thing? Which is practice. Right. And it's like, fuck off. But 
that's the advice. That's the good advice, <laughs> right? This was kind of like that. Everywhere I went, everywhere I went, people would be like, "Why is my camera so crap?" And the people would be like, "Your lighting sucks." Like they wouldn't even need to ask. They'd just be like, "Your lighting sucks." Ooh, I got a blossom kite shield. Ooh. Well, that's good shit. Yeah, I need that. Um. But yeah, that was what, like, literally everywhere. And that was my reaction at first. It was just like, fuck off. Everybody's just saying the same thing. Oh, your lighting sucks. Your lighting sucks. And then after I'd spent, like, days researching it, I was like, okay, literally everybody says your lighting sucks. <laughs> maybe, maybe our lighting sucks. <laughs> like, at some point, you have to, at some point, you have to admit, like, you know, there's consensus. So <laughs> maybe, maybe I should look into that. Like, maybe I should have... Because, like I said, it, that didn't make any sense to me because the environment looked bright. But when I kept reading, like, your lighting sucks, your lighting sucks, your lighting sucks, and I was like, you know what? Fine. We got a... We got a portable, like, shop light, right? That was in the, that was in the laundry room. So I was like, you know what? Let's grab that, bring it in here, turn it on, it'll... Like, it's gonna blast light into here, and we'll find out if it... Yep, that's exactly what the problem was. It was too dark. So, now we have lights like crazy. We've got lights over there. We've got <laughs> shop lights up there. We've got the... We've got the... LED panels over here and stuff. Where am I? We've got lights in our ass. And we've got lights in our eyes. And frankly... That's still not enough, because I still have to turn the gain up a little bit to get, you know, which that introduces some noise grain. Um, noise grain? That introduces some film grain. Um, so ideally, the, gr the gain should be all the way down, but to get it there, we'd need hey. even more light. What? Which, and when you look at, like, uh, yeah. professional... Uh, video creation hey, teams the, the only um, I that's you that. and you see they're like behind the scenes where they turn the camera around right they're just like blasting light <laughs> like five or six like ridiculous lights and they are ridiculous I looked up some of them and they cost thousands of dollars just for the light Meanwhile, why not just use one of those brightest flashlights in the world? <laughs> Get a couple of those and just point them at umbrellas. Oh, I forget how to not die. Because this that thin one breaks. Yep. You, you gotta jump. Right, let me aim just... your aim your jump correctly. Expect to expect to miss and die. Re No, oh, you did it! Okay! Also, you're wearing a million things. You might want to take off some armor. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Heal! You fool! No, it's fine. <laughs> hey, ring of the Eli. Neat. We just heal. <laughs> like suggested. <laughs> <laughs> I got the homeward boner. <laughs> no reason boner. I like coleslaw, but not that much. No reason, boner. I was, I was gonna try to sing along. Like, give you a little melody, and then I realized I don't know what the actual melody is. So I was just like... I was literally about to just be like... <laughs> Fuck me. Now things are a little awkward. Between my man and I, get fucked. That was not my best life. I was just, I was covering up for my no reason boner. Get back. No reason boner. That was Come. the wrong back to mail. No reason boner. No reason boner. More homework boners. <sighs> not now. Not in front of the children. Why have you what? forsaken me, Lord? <laughs> Do you like arrows in your face? Why, yes. <laughs> Let me come get some more. 
Oh. <laughs> you know, you know what? Maybe you like arrows in the face. You've never tried it. Who knows? Maybe you could. Maybe if you got an arrow in the eye socket, it would be the best thing that's ever happened to you. <laughs> For a split second, till I had brain damage or was dead. I mean, let me ask you this. If but you, it might be amazing. You never know. If you maybe. could have <laughs> a transcendental experience, like unbelievably good, either, you know, pleasurable or fulfilling or, you know, just like, you know, this is better than anything I've ever experienced this you know, like side of the Pecos. This, this is my, you know, this is the whole reason. Now that this has happened, it's the whole reason I've been alive, right? If you, if somebody could give you that, like if you knew for certain that somebody could give you that, but in order to have it, you would have to die immediately after. Would you do it? Um, I think it would depend on whether or not there were still things I felt I had to do, right? Well, that's because for me, my life has never is never been all about me. So if I was like, well, if I die now, I'm fucking over my parents, or I'm fucking over my brother, or I'm fucking mm. over my friends, I'd be like, no, I can't. But if I was like, you know, reached the point where it's like, yeah, I got nothing really else to look forward to in life, so yeah, give it to me. Yeah, because like that's... give me the thing, let me die happy. And... Yeah, because like that's part of the. That's part of the hypothetical here, is that this is such a good experience that everything... Whoa! I pressed the wrong button because of Elden Ring. <laughs> um, is that this is such this is such a good experience that you will feel like oh, your life is here. completely fulfilled now. Like you don't you don't. You know, you'll you'll be like, oh, this is, this is, what, I always I never knew I wanted, but this is the only thing that I need now. Like that that experience is all I need. And so like, you'll get that, but then you have to die immediately after. I guess it also depends on the method of death. You just die. It doesn't have to be okay. violent. You just, just like, like uh, dying. Just like the kind of thing where it's like you just pass away peacefully and you're yeah. some kind of a deal where it's just like, ah, uh, I'm over. Just and like, then you just yep. sleep. It's just done. Because if it was like... Take an arrow to the face. <laughs> you get the most blissful experience you've ever had in your entire life. And then I feel it might be slightly soured if the next thing that happens to me is I explode. <laughs> Like, I mean, I guess an explosion would be quick, but at the same yeah, time, it would be a be brief instant. moment of... <laughs> <laughs> ultimate, unbelievable agony. <laughs> like, here's the thing about an instant of agony, though. Like, it's instant. Is that the floor down there? Okay. Like, it's, it's easy to... It's easy to look ahead <laughs> and see, like you know, incredible pain and be afraid of it, but, like, think... Think about the past. Think about stuff that you experienced <coughs> in the past, right? I got the token of spite. All right, here's another existential thought. You ready? Let's... It's time for ontological souls, because... Or, ti it's time for ontological tape. Um... Because I have liquor in me now. Um... Hold on, we're brain, come back. <laughs> I need you. You got liquor in you. Uh, it's it's really a roll of the dice. <laughs> oh, I remember. I was talking I was talking to my son the other day, and I was I almost related something to him, like an experience, but it suddenly occurred to me that I couldn't remember if that was something that had actually happened to me or if it was a dream I'd had once. Fuck. Right? <laughs> where's the... Where's the bonfire? I saw it down here. Shit. Now there's a man. Get shat. 
Where's the fucking bonfire? I saw it. I think you have to go down. It's, yep, it's down. There it is. <laughs> oh, thank God. Um. So yeah, like, I I couldn't remember. Legitimately, I couldn't remember if what I was thinking of was something I'd actually experienced or if it was a dream. And I was like, fuck, what does this... What <laughs> it's It has to load in the new atmosphere. It does... I was like, it's nighttime here. When does that happen? Last time I was in the happy place and it was and it became dark was an Elden Ring when I got attacked by a man in the safe zone like it's fucking Resident Evil 2 remake. <laughs> so like... What does that say about memory? Mm. That a memory of a real thing and a memory of a of a dream are indistinguishable. Like at some point they become indistinguishable. I always forget the correct fast path through here. You know, I feel like memories of like something that happened yesterday Fuck. Uh, typically are a little more concrete, you know, and they, they feel, they have a different feel to them. Um, but I, at a certain point, I feel like memories of reality and memories of dreams start to just kind of together. If you have a, if you have a dream that's vivid enough to remember for more than a day. Um, shit. Oh, hello. Which I have a few of those. I know a lot of people don't remember their dreams very well. My dreams are usually pretty fucking vivid. Which, I have some strategies for how I would advise people to... Like, if if you uh, want to remember your dreams more... Um, like, if you're able to... A lot of people I know who say they don't remember their dreams also have lives that require them to like get out of bed like that right like wake up now it's time to get ready for work um but if you can arrange your schedule in such a way that when you wake up you can kind of just chill for a while um what you can then do is like remember like you can sit there and just try to remember what you dreamt about um does the game expect you to actually make that jump vanilla I don't know. Actually, you know what? I think so because it, it it's not as big as it looks. Press the right button. Yeah. You see how you see how much clearance you have? Yeah. Like it's not as bad as it looks. Um So yeah, so that's that's one thing is like schedule your wakefulness for to give yourself enough time just kind of chill in bed and remember your dreams. <coughs> Another thing is uh, it's kind of cliche, but keep a dream journal. Like, as much as you can remember, write down. <coughs> because what it kind of does is it trains your brain that you want to remember this stuff. Because your brain has limited resources, and if you don't ever need or use your dreams, then your brain isn't going to bother devoting resources to remembering your dreams. Um, Because, like, I'm sure you can... I'm sure, like you can realize that, like, think back to three days ago, you can't remember everything that happened three days ago, right? So, like, your brain devotes resources to remembering certain things and not other things, and if your brain thinks that your dreams are pointless or useless, that you never use them, it's not gonna bother trying to remember them. So, like, if you do that thing, if you do those things where, like, you just chill in bed for a while trying to keep your dreams as fresh in your mind as possible, write down your dreams as much of your dreams as you can in a dream journal you're going to be telling your brain like oh i need to remember dreams right because i use them for something and that can help because um something that i didn't realize until i had talked to a couple psychologists is that it's very likely that everybody has very vivid dreams but some people just as soon as they wake up, it's a, it's erased out of their head because their brain doesn't need it, 
and it's just poof gone. It's 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 more unlikely that some people dream and some people don't. Or it's more likely that people's brains just delete information that it that they don't need than it is that some people for some reason have their their brain just doesn't do this thing. Um So So yeah, so those are some things that I can that I can suggest cuz I do I do know and of course this is anecdotal obviously I haven't done extensive studies. Um but I do know that when I do just have to get up and go those are times when I remember when I don't remember my dreams nearly as well. That I remember my dreams best when I Holy shit. So many hit points. Of course your 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 spear is a good deal weaker now that it's poison. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I would I would advise I would advise trying that if you would like to remember your dreams and have more vivid dreams. Cuz like I agree with that idea that everybody has vivid dreams. It's just whether or not they remember them. Um so if you'd like to have more vivid dreams, all you need to do is remember them better. And those are some ways that I have found help me to remember my dreams better. Also, these this torch can link is just bones. <laughs> because every fire here is bone fueled. I mean, bones can... bones can... I mean, not light on fire, but like you can... Why can't I target this man? I mean, yes, bones can light on fire. Everything can light on fire. This is this is what I have learned, that everything has a combustion point. It's just that oftentimes that combustion point is like, Jesus. <laughs> Some party over here. Uh, Does often that, that mean trap? Like, the combustion point of water is way above the point at which it becomes a gas. And I suspect it's also way above the point at which it becomes plasma. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool science fact that I actually learned just recently, which one, when I had learned it, I was like, oh yeah, I probably should have known that. Fuck me. Oof. Um, when you look at the sun, you are not looking at the sun, you're looking through the sun. Because the sun is not a solid object. The sun is a ball of plasma. So, uh, while it is incredibly bright, and that brightness is going to obscure anything behind it, you're still looking through it. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> that was that was a visceral physical reaction. Yeah, that, that's that was a true horror. Screw you, FNAF. That's about how it felt when I dug straight down like an idiot in the nether <laughs> and plummeted to my death, just <gasps> crunch. <laughs> and then, uh, surprisingly laughing for approximately, like, giggling like an idiot for approximately 15 minutes. Well, yeah, because, like, there's a... Because normally that kind of shit would make me be, you know, incredibly salty and enraged, but for some right. reason that one tickled my bone. And then Wait, you remember that all your equipment is in lava. <laughs> no, I always play with keep inventory on. Oh. Because fuck that noise. Because <laughs> you don't want Minecraft to be a Souls game? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm there to build shit and have fun. Um, this is a very thin bridge. That, you can do it, I believe in you. That uh, when I yeet onto, I am going to overshoot. <laughs> no, I believe in you. You can do it. <laughs> Let me see if there's... Well, there you is. Can, I mean, this. you can drop down there. Oh, hey, items. Nice. So, and there's torches now. <clears throat> well, guess I'm going this way. I hope it's the right way, and it didn't actually expect me to yeet. Oh, by the way, uh, there are three torches there. So many torches. By the way, uh, oh, Donnie oh, sent me a text message earlier today. Uh, to me. Out of nowhere. He was like. He was like, hey, I just randomly came across your controller tape stuff. Haven't seen you in a hot minute. Like, we should hang out. And I'm like, fair. I haven't seen Donnie in quite a while. You want to hang out with Donnie? I mean, sure. 
I'm gonna ask this question on stream, so in case he's like watching, <laughs> you can you can be no, like, fuck him, yeah. <laughs> fuck that guy. <laughs> what a douchebag. Am I right? <laughs> I'd sooner eat my own balls out of my face. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> like, that's some Lovecraft geometry shit. What does that mean? <laughs> that's the point. <laughs> get, get around the pole. There's guys coming. <laughs> Please do not. Oh, never mind. Hello, sir. Um, I don't know if we've ever really talked about Donnie on the stream. I think we've mentioned it. I think I, you've told the story about how you broke a watch on his fucking face. Yes. <laughs> um, you wouldn't. He's a he's a friend from the old day from from the old days. They wouldn't be um, so dickish as to put a mimic <laughs> here in the gutter, would they? <laughs> they come on, it's from soft. Ooh, Did that say firebomb? Black firebomb. Nice. All right. Um. Well. Yeah, it's it's funny because like I feel like we've gone through like three eras of friend groups. In our in our days. Oh hello, doggo. Um Ow. I don't like that thing's jaw. That upsets me. Uh please stop killing me. It does a lot of damage and takes a oh, lot of damage. Those are scary. Oh it was poison. I was like, why did it just give up and die? I had to eat a torch. <laughs> um Yeah, we've kinda gone through like I think like three eras of friend groups. Cause there was the uh, what I'm gonna call the era of Bap the age of Baptists, right? Mm -hmm. Where our friend group largely consisted of people at church yeah. and members. No, get down, member you imbecile. Members of our very religious family. Um, and then there was the then there was the game night era, where our friend group largely and this is in person friends more than online friends right um was the although i guess we could call that uh a friend that an era too because there was the game there was the game night era where our friends consisted largely of there was a game group that we used to go to and our friends consisted largely of people from that group that we hung out with um because we went up there pretty regularly and then there was the what i'm going to call the controller tape era which is where we started building this community of people and uh, a lot of our fandom evolved into people that we hang out with a lot online, like daily, you know. God, <laughs> this place sucks so hard. It's like, what if Blight Town, but everything breaks? <laughs> and he, he crunched me, but it, like... <laughs> a lot of the hurt boxes in this game feel like like your poise is high enough that it's like it doesn't feel like he's hitting you but he absolutely is too many friends <laughs> too many friends I'm they're a, falling all around me I'm an extrovert you can't have too many friends I can't have too many friends I want more friends which Somebody in chat, remind me of the phrase, I want oh. more friends. Hello. Secret, secret, uh, moth? What does it give you? Radiant, Radiant light, light gem. gem. Huh. I would have expected that item to be cooler. Yeah, like a ring or a pair of pants, maybe a hat. Because it felt like a secret enemy that was just hiding there. Well. I think that was technically invisible. Because I see there are other enemies that are, like, invisible and well, you only see them by their shadow. Him. Oh, that's true. Interesting. Oh, that's, what that this is. is garbage. <laughs> yeah, just go over there and get poison. Do you have any moss? Oh, I could probably oh, get rid of these. I don't know if you can hear it, ladies and gentlemen, in your left ear if you're wearing headphones. That is, uh, that is the heartbeat of those poisony guys, <laughs> which I just found out recently is a thing that exists. Yeah, just jump over there and get get your ass poisoned and then moss yourself out of it. You're not gonna not get hit by them. Just accept and get poisoned. Oh, fuck. 
This game haunts. <laughs> who decided that the run? Who? Just Give me a jump button. <laughs> fuck you and fuck your face and fuck your mother. <laughs> <laughs> like how many? Your brother Elden Ring has a dedicated jump button. <laughs> Why can't you have a dedicated jump button? Fuck me. <laughs> Like, why doesn't this game have a dedicated jump button? What does Elden Ring not do that this game does that requires its own button? Yeah. No, like, that's an actual question. I'm like, what? Because Elden Ring's jump button is one of the face buttons, right? And yes. it's a different button from the run button. Yeah, the run button is is the right one, and the jump button is the bottom button, like, button right. in, like in most so what games. Is the, so what does the right button do in this game? Run and jump and jump and, and the dodge. bottom button is uh, interact with things. So what is interact in Elden Ring? It's the top button. So what's the top button in Dark Souls? Switch weapons. What switch weapons in Elden Ring? It's you hold. Oh, you hold one of the buttons. It's the hold interact button, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Y you hold a button and then you press whatever weapon you want a two hand, which I. That's right. That's why enough, it was. That was why it was so confusing to me because that's nothing like any of the Soulsborne games up to that point. I actually took to it pretty fast, but like going back is what's been super tricky because like I'm so used to holding the button. Yeah, holding the top button and then pressing a button, and I'm like, all right, I need to two-hand my crossbow. Uh, boop, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, Elden Ring does have does require a lot more jumping than this game does, but I'm of the opinion that if you have to jump, jumping should be easy. If you ever jump, there should be a jump button, period. What am I looking for? Baldur's Gate on the consoles has a jump button in it for no reason. You never need to jump in Baldur's Gate, but they put a jump button in it because people expect a jump button. And I'm not making that up, that's what the devs said, is that people expect a jump button, so they put a jump button in. Um, because, and this is true, one of the golden rules of game design, there's the golden rule and the corollary of the golden rule. The golden rule is, if it doesn't need to be in your game, if players, like, if it doesn't need to be in your game, don't put it in your game. And the corollary is, if players expect it in your game, you need to have a really good reason not to put it there. Um, and so they decided that people expect a jump button, and they don't have a good reason not to include a jump button. Like, it doesn't hurt the game not to have it, so they put it in. And... In uh, Baldur's Gate 2 on consoles, they added jump puzzles to kind of justify it, I guess. Well, the first one had a jump puzzle that they put in for the same reason. Did it? Yeah, it was super simple. It was just like there's a bunch of like circular floating platforms. Oh. It was in the area filled with spiders. Wasn't that pretty late in the game? No, that was fair. That was like the first area. That was before the Beholder fight. But yeah. But it was like, it was very little that you ever needed the jump button for. What I had about this is that I can't just... Like, I've done the things now. Like, I did a whole bunch of stuff, so now just let me speed through it. It's still dark as shit, and I can't see anything. And there's then the enemies are back. It's like, you can't... So I can't see where they're coming from. I can't see where I am. At really best, can... you can, like, see the torches and be like, go in that general direction. Yeah. So excuse me. Um, oh fuck so, you. So yeah, we had we had the era like the controller tape era, which I think technically is still kind of going on. Ob right. Yeah, obviously because we still hang out with our controller tape friends and family. And if you would like to join that community of friends and family, you can head over to our Discord, which I will link to right now, in chat. We would love to see you. Abu. There you go. Um. And I think currently we're in a new era that's kind of starting up, which is thanks to Bark, which is a, a mobile app that is designed to help furries connect to each other. Um, we've lived here for 20 years ish now, more right. than 20 years. And for the entirety of that 20 years, I was like, surely we are the only furries here. Like, like, if you knew this area, like, it is supremely conservative. Like, t 
To give you an idea of how conservative this area is, a coffee shop tried to open here a while back. I want to say it was quite a while ago. I think a it's number gotten, of years ago. Yeah, it's gotten a little more progressive, but like a while back. And the town hall shut it down because they had live music, and I'm not kidding, gay people liked to hang out there. Now, obviously, they didn't say any of that in the town meeting, but that's what it was. Um, and that, so that place got booted out. They couldn't, they weren't able to renew their, uh, they weren't able to renew their business license. So that's the kind of area we live in. So I was like, surely we are the only furries here. Bark, you it's B-A-R-Q. Like Bark's root beer. Yeah. Except it's Bark because furries. But I have a friend in England. In, in good old England land. England, it's not... They're, didn't, they're out of the UK now, right? So they're... Yeah, Brexit happened. Or, no, Brexit. They're out, of, they're out of the European Union. They're still UK. Um, so, yeah. A friend of mine in, in England land over there uh, told, suggested that I try Bark. And I was like, all right, fine. So I tried Bark, and immediately... I found not only are there furries in our near area, which sh profoundly shocked me, but there's like a couple hundred furries in the in the Binghamton area, up just across the border, which is like we're up there all the time. Oof. Can you guys stop? Good old lawn land. Where did you even come from? Rumor has it the stork brought them. Ugly stork. The ugly, gross, undead stork. Um, the horror stork. Horror stork. <laughs> Not the horror stork. So, um, I have I have found in my experience that Bark is used by two different groups of people for two different reasons. There are a lot of dudes on there who want to use it as a dating app, and there are a lot of women on there who want to use it as a friends app. Like, who want to... Oh, God, these things. Blech. Um, but there's another torch over there. But, uh, I met a couple of people on there. Oh, God. And one of Friends. them, one of them was like, do you know there's like a whole, there's like a, there's like a whole Binghamton telegram group. Oh, my God. Fucking wall bouncing is the worst mechanic in any game. A pox in the person's thought that would be a good idea. So, um, they're like, do you know there's, like, a whole group of furries that, like, they have this whole telegram group, and then they, like, we, like, meet up and stuff. And I was like, no. He's like, I can invite you. And I'm like, yes. I see you. Um, because I had actually just not too long ago started using telegram. Um. Yeah, I can't, I'm not getting those souls back. <laughs> Sads. Oop, time to enter the mist. Is this a boss fight? I don't think so. Or is this just, like, the back half of the gutter? It's just one of those. Which, I hate that. I liked when the mist was, like, boss incoming. I liked it better when the mist meant something. <laughs> back in my day! <laughs> Which, I know it didn't always mean something, but I feel like in Dark Souls 1... There was, like, one or two. Yes. Yeah. Where it was, like, it just led you to another area. And the rest of them were... It's time to be afraid for your life, idiot. Yeah. Um. So I was like, so yeah, I was like, okay, yeah. And then peeps were like, uh, Mosey was kind of like the dude who runs it, really. And I was like, he was like, yeah, do you want to come up and hang out? I'm like, sure. So I went up and I met them at a restaurant. Is that a taco I'm hearing? Maybe. Um. Yeah, I went up, I met them at a restaurant, and they were pretty cool, and they were like, do you want to come back to... Like, it was a group of them, so it wasn't like one dude who was like, do you want to come back to my place for drinks? It was, it was like, do does everybody want to go back to my place for drinks? And I was like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I, I absolutely do. So, I went with this batch of cool people, and uh, now I try to get up there to hang out as much as I can. It's a little tricky because cars... Um, 
but I try to get up there and hang out with them as much as I can. Um, I don't, I don't know if you have Saturday off, but they're doing something on Saturday I'm evening. I'm a little preoccupied to okay. think about anything right. you're saying. I'll, I'll bring it up again fuck later. Me. Look fuck. out! Like literally, I'm on a ladder and something just explodes. <laughs> And I'm somehow not dead, but now my britches are brown. <laughs> the the key to playing El uh, the key to playing any Dark Souls or uh, Soulsborne is to wear brown pants. Buy just a big old bag of brown underwear. Just wear a fucking diaper. <laughs> Oops, I guess he's just done. <laughs> I forget how oh, to kick down. Oh, there's a guy down. here. <laughs> Did you not see him? No, there was no one coming up the ladder when I started going down, and it's dark. <laughs> Real? This is interesting because, like... So, if you follow the channel for any length of time at all, you know I'm colorblind. Okay, I see that guy. Um, I have pretty severe protonomaly. I can see those dudes. Like, Vanna was like, I didn't see that dude at all. I saw him pretty clearly. I was really, I was kind of confused as to why he was just sitting there on the ladder while this dude came up to jam his fist up his ass. There comes a guy. So I, so I find that interesting that I seem to be having an easier time seeing these dudes. It feels like a, that feels like a moment from an early cartoon. Like a ladder chase, <laughs> like guys climbing up a ladder, and it's <laughs> like <laughs> no, not da, 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 like it's trying to be exciting, da, yeah. da, 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 and it's literally just uh, yeah, oh dear, just a, just here a comes loop. the man. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Here it come. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a hot take, but uh, like some Mickey Mouse shit. Cuphead. Like, a lot of people were really, like, praising the artistic direction of Cuphead. I'm not saying that it was bad art. Okay? But... I've never liked that ye olde style of animation. Like, I really feel like when Disney rolled up, they revolutionized art in a good way, and if Disney hadn't showed up... Like... Uh, moving picture if disney or somebody who had that same kind of like vision hadn't showed up animation probably would have died out pretty quick when the novelty wore off um like and i've never like looked back at that era of animation and felt like like with like that sort of same weird Jesus nostalgia Christ. i don't know why these are so loud they sound like explosions no. No, that's fine. Okay. See? <laughs> okay. Like I remember. Ow! I remember this place. Uh oh! This killed me, and I just see why. Look, look over to your right. There's a hole. Oh. I didn't go far enough. I just pitched down the hole. That's why I was like, ah. <laughs> he's gonna die. Boy. Uh. Um, I'm not saying it wouldn't have gone forward without him. That's why I wanted to correct myself. If it hadn't been for him or somebody like him who had that same sort of vision. Because a lot if of it people would argue that Disney ha Disney himself well, had fuck all to do with it. And it was the people he was working under him who was like... <laughs> no, like, do you know the story of Disney? That, like, he when he was doing, like, the Oswald the Happy Rabbit shit, right? Right. And he got completely screwed by the animation company he was working for. I think it was MGM? Was Is that it? Because I heard the opposite. I heard that Walt screwed over the guy who created no, no, no. Oswald. No, he got absolutely fucked and went... He, uh, he basically, he w went to the people he was doing animations for and said, we deserve to be paid more money. And they said, no, you don't. And so they hired, basically they hired all the people that were working, well, not oh, all so of them. Disney but, got screwed. Huh. Yeah, a large chunk of the people who were working for him. And they were, he was like, he was like, I want to be paid more. And they were like, no, you're going to be paid less or you're fired. <laughs> and he was like, fuck. So he went and formed his own company. 
um, and that was the Walt Disney Company. But he couldn't take Oswald with him, even though he had created Oswald. So he made Mickey. That's where that's where Mickey came from. And apparently Disney just recently got Oswald back by trading the o uh, they traded a sports caster for Oswald. <laughs> Oh my god, that's gotta feel like shit for that guy. <laughs> because he was he's a because he literally got traded for a fictional character. <laughs> You're less valuable to us than Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Um but it, they, w- it was universal, but not MGM. Oh it was universal, okay. That makes sense. It also makes so thank you, I wasn't sure. Well, there was something I was gonna do, in my but brain. yeah, Disney Disney got absolutely hosed. Um, so, uh, but yeah, it, um, I I I'm not gonna say that if it wasn't for Disney, we wouldn't have animation being what it was today or what it is today. But I think if it wasn't for somebody with that sort of vision, animation would have died off pretty quickly because it was very much a novelty thing. You know, sort of like, sort of like, you know, uh, film, a lot of film back in those days. Like, you look at them and they don't have any real value today. Oswald is public domain, but the trademark rights aren't. Right. Um, I didn't know he was public domain, but I guess I should have known that because he's he's older than fucking Mickey Mouse. Yeah, and, uh, Mm -hmm. Steamboat Willie is public domain now. Yeah. So. Which, that's raised its own... (laughs) Like, fun fact... Disney has been trying everything to keep some kind of grip on Steamboat Willie. Apparently, the latest thing that they tried to do that I saw is... They put Steamboat Willie into their... uh, Into their logo for their, for, uh, their animation department. And they're trying to claim that that makes it a trademark now and trademarks don't expire and (laughs) that's not gonna hold up at all i'm sorry disney that's not gonna fly like you're gonna sue somebody and you're gonna lose hardcore um but it's disney a lot of the times these mate these massive corporations they do this shit not because they know they'll win in court, but because they know that smaller people won't be sure they'll win in court, and so they won't they'll avoid it, right? right. It's sort of like it's sort of like uh, like Nintendo and these other massive. Uh, it's why it's why you uh, let's plays like this are still in a legal gray area. It no no court has confirmed that you can do this, right? Um, and the reason for that is the people who could sue over it, uh, the people who could sue over it don't want to sue in court because if they do, they might lose. And then that would set the precedent. Right. So right now it's in a legal gray area. So companies like Nintendo and Microsoft can put pressure on people by saying like, you want to play, you want to play our game. Uh, not our video game. Like, you, you want to play our legal game because if you don't, we might sue you and you don't know if you'll win and you'll have to put in tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars to defend yourself. Um, and that's the way they want it. They want it in that legal gray area where they have the power to, like, where they have the ability to, like, muscle people into behavior. Um. Fuck. So. But. Yeah, if you don't if you don't know, uh, ancient controller tape lore is that. Oh, that asshole down there. Uh, ancient controller tape lore is that. Uh, one of our grady, oh, gradius, gradius. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it. One of our uh, we we did a video a while back. Of grad playing Gradius. Gradius uh, three on the. Super I Nintendo. think so. Gradius three, and it got uh, it got copyright claimed. copyright claimed. I think content ID. I'm not sure what the difference is, but it got it got flagged by Konami. 
and we fought it. We were like, no, this is bullshit. Because we figured we can fight it, and if they go, no, you must give us your ad money, we can be, we, we're going to put mon- ads on this and take your ad money. Right. We could just, we would just take it down. We'd just say, fuck you, and yeah. take it down. But, so, uh, so we fought it. Um, and we won. Uh, unfortunately, that Gratis video is no longer on our YouTube channel because, uh, I took a lot of our videos down because I just, I felt like they just weren't good. Um, I was just like, I don't, a lot of our videos got ejected. Um, like, press start level up, that was a mistake. Um... Oh, where we were trying to... We were just playing RPGs and missing yeah. them. Because it was like... We were trying to find a way that we could put content onto the channel without having to do the the, the face animations because it took so much time. Um, and it just wasn't very good. I believe I made fun of that when I did one of our update videos. It was like... And I was like, press start level up. We did that. It didn't really work out that well. And I cut to like five different scenes was just making fart noises. <laughs> hey, those fart noises were funny. I think the longer copyright... Power Stone says hot take. I think the longer copyright terms are sometimes better, but only if they're actively being used. Um, a lot of stuff for the next several decades or 95 years after publication, which for most stuff isn't really helping anyone. There's not really a profitable market still on pop and jazz music from the 30s and 40s. Um... So here's what I'll here's what I'll say to this. Remember that when if something I make, let's imagine that I live for 150 years, right? Um, cool. I'm around. Okay, go back. I need friends. You fight for me, Ray. <laughs> um, imagine that. Let, like, let's go back to the like old copyright laws, like the 60 years, right? The po- what is the point of copyright law? Right? Like, like, what is the point of it? It's to... Uh, it's to ensure that an artist of whatever variety is able to... Like, it, it's to promote creativity, but it does that through a specific mean, or through a specific uh, thing. The idea is that with copyright laws, an artist has the exclusive right... There you go. Correct. An an artist has the exclusive right to make money from their work. Because without that exclusive right, the time it takes... Like, that that exclusive right is required to ensure that the time an artist invests in creating their art can generate their the ability to can generate income and thus the ability to live so that artist doesn't necessarily need to devote all their time to other labor and therefore they can justify working on their art this "Quote unquote incentivizes, but I would I would prefer the term I would prefer to say it allows art to be made. Um. So. Uh. Yeah. So by by giving an artist the power to control their own artistic creation, um, it." at the very least allows and at most incentivizes the creation of art. We'll come back to this after boss. Here he is. Time for the rotten. If you beat the rotten, you have taken the lead. All right, let's go, boys. It is so dark in here. It's dark. (laughs) Ah, Oh, no. Not off to a great start. Because we're coming up on four hours, so you get, like, one shot at this dude. Get him, guys. So I can just pew, pew, and I have to be careful where I step too. Yeah, fire. 
Fire bad. Ah, oh, fire, fire bad. bad. Fire bad. But I was getting, he was backing up. They're what doing like no damage to this dude. That's fine. Can you? Oh, he's probably immune to poison, surely. Um, I don't know. That, that's. <laughs> <laughs> just. He might just be resistant to it. Oh my god! No, the fire! You fool! <laughs> oh no! And I don't think he's poisoned. Ray? 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 <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ray? If you could do a goddamn thing! Like no! One. Like, hit him. Hit him. Thank you. So I can switch back to a weapon that actually does shit. I want a Is he hurt chip so bad. Is he weak to fire, maybe? Not really. <laughs> no. Yeah, just shoot him. <laughs> it is doing more damage. Is it? Your shots were doing 120 plus. I was looking at how much the... That's my axe. Yeah, 120. Your shots are definitely doing more, and you shoot more often. But I was definitely seeing the bar just stay in that exact position, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Do not dodge in the fire and just stay alive. Dude, normally these summons are like borderline invincible. The fire is no joke. Well, yeah, but even Bashful Ray, he's just getting annihilated. He's like a half health. I think because he walked in the fire at some point. Most of that, like at least half of that has been the rotten. Like, this dude hits like a tank. <laughs> he's, I, a, he's a naked people oogie boogie. Of course, poison doesn't work. Eat shit! Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for surviving, Ray. <laughs> you are a true friend. So... Panda has now taken the lead, but that's pretty much all the time we have left. So, I'll let him. I'll let him go down to head over to like Majula. Wait. Do his, do his soulsing while I finish up my thoughts on copyright. Surely they wouldn't. Why do I hear whispering? <laughs> oh, I got a petrified sound thing. Cool. So. I'll let Panda go and do his, uh... Oh, that's right! There's a snake thing here! Yeah. This is- this is the- this Sun is the poisony... Sunken Kingdom. Sunken Kingdom Garbo. Um... So... So that's the point of- that's the point- that is the stated point of copyright. Both in general, in common parlance and as- as enshrined in the Constitution. <laughs> well. Which... Fun fact. Sigh. No interest. Uh, copyright law is so I'm important to the, was so important to the founding fathers that it was in the first part, like the very first draft of the Constitution, Article One, Section Eight, Clause Eight, Copyright Law. Okay. Freedom of speech. Freedom of religion, freedom of the press, that shit all had to be added later. Copyright law, first article. <laughs> um, so, uh, so the stated purpose of copyright law is to ensure that creators have the ability to profit from their work in order that, uh, so that they are able to devote time to it without having to sacrifice, without having to spend that time on uh, traditional labor, right, to survive. And so because they can profit from their work, that promotes, uh, within a capitalist framework, that wrong. promotes the uh, creation of art, which is a good thing. It's good for, art is good for society, right? Um, so that's that's the purpose of copyright. Uh, 
I would argue, I believe it was 60 years. Hold on, let me let me look this up. There's no point in accidentally spreading misinformation. How long did copyright last originally? I think it was 60 years, but it might have been... Oh, it was 14. Uh, 40 years later, the initial term was changed to 28 years. Um, so the Founding Fathers set it to 14 years. Um, then it was 28 years, eventually. Um, currently, it's 70 years after the author's death, or 90 fear, 95 years after publication. Um, history. Uh, in 1790, it was 14 years. Uh, it was 28 years, 48 years later, so in the early 1800s. 180 years later, in 1976, it was either 75 years or the life of the author plus 50 years. So let's go with that. But honestly, I am of the opinion that even at 14 years, like even at 14 years, if you have been successfully marketing your art for 14 years, that's plenty. Like, because you think about it, right? You create a work of art, and now you can profit off of it for 14 years. That one thing you did, you now have 14 years to make money off of. That's a lot for something that you did one time. I think, I think that that's plenty. But, then it was 28, then it was 70, now it's 95. Like, that's so much time. But... Here's the thing that isn't that's just how long you have to exclusively profit from it. You can still profit after it after that. Just because something is in the public domain doesn't mean you can't profit off of it. Like Disney made fucking Snow White, Cinderella, Little Mermaid, right? Those were all things that were in the public domain that they've started to profit off of. You can continue to profit off of things that are in the public domain. Like, you don't have to stop just because something goes into the public domain. It just means that other people can also profit off of it after that point. Um, at which point it becomes, at which point it becomes a competition, right? Now you have to, now you have to find ways to profit off of it that are more enticing than other people. And so I think Honestly, I think 14 years is fine. I think 14 years is plenty. But you also have to understand when I'm stating, when I'm saying stuff like that, that I'm of the opinion that there shouldn't be any copyright law. But that's because I'm also of the opinion that people shouldn't have to worry about how valuable they are to society. That people shouldn't have to prove that they deserve to live, right? I think that's terrible. I think that's immoral. Um, so I mean, don't waste your time. You, oh, you didn't well. give him any souls. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> like I had that real. I was like, what do you mean waste time? Oh, I what, just took all your shit. What left. you did is you walked into Olive Garden, got free breadsticks <laughs> and salad, and then decided, you know what, never mind, and left. <laughs> you would be banned so fast from the Mexican restaurant if you just came in. We were like, yeah, I. So the, that's why they started charging for those chips and salsa and stop gifting it as complimentary because there are people who probably were just coming in, getting that, and then being like, all right, I think we're done here. Thanks for the free shit. At the time those initial copyright laws were enacted, stuff like records and radio and TV and internet didn't exist. It was a whole new play it's a whole new playing field now. That's true. Uh, it's also important to note that at the time those laws were enacted, the average lifespan was about 40. So <laughs> 14 years is like half of your life. Um, <laughs> it's one of my favorite John Tron quotes. You know, back when it was impressive not to die of being 35. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think that... No, I mean, it's pretty... Um, the people who survived longer than that were not poor people. That's the thing. It's... You know... If you, but like, 
even if you had it, even if you had a ton of money, you were you weren't making it. You weren't making it to very old. The, that's why it's the average lifespan. But I mean, if I'm wrong, absolutely head over to the Discord. Tell me I'm wrong. You know, cite your sources. I will look at them. I don't like to spread false information, and if I'm wrong, I'll stop saying that. But from everything that I've read from what I consider reputable sources our over the last two to three hundred years our lifespan has basically doubled like average lifespan right now is like 80 to 90 um but but yeah like um that's one of the reasons why I've been so it's one of the reasons why I'm, I've been so kind of excited about like Kickstarter and the concept of crowdfunding because um Basically, Kickstarter is a democratized economy. You know, it's still not ideal. It's still not what I would like to see in society. But, you know, to quote a very wise source, supreme executive power is derived from a mandate by the masses, not from some supreme, uh, not from some aquatic ceremony. <laughs> like, you can't be expected to be called the King of England just because some watery tart threw a sword at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, but we all know money is power. Like, everybody knows that intrinsically. Everybody in, uh, everybody in any capitalist society knows that money is power. But we all also believe that power shouldn't be, that, that power should be something that the people grant right that we, right. we believe in democracy so money shouldn't be something that you just have money should be something that people decide that you get to have so when i look at kickstarter and similar crowdfunding i see democratized economy i see a person saying i want to write a book and a whole bunch of people saying yeah write that book here you go here's 50 grand um because <laughs> some moistened bent all the same <laughs> are made, they had to put me away. <laughs> Such a good movie. Honestly, I think that's one of the best mo best comedies ever made. <laughs> Every time I watch it, it's funny. It's still my favorite movie. A lot of comedies, you know, you watch them the first time and they're hilarious, and then afterwards, let's like, you know, it's okay. Yeah, the first time I saw Rat Race. Yeah, Rat Race. I remember rolling in my chair laughing. I just oh, died. Couldn't breathe. Especially with everything involving Rowan Atkinson. But then I watched it later, and I was like, eh, this is amusing. And then I got to the part with Rowan Atkinson and the baby, and I'm like, this is just diet Mr. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was also a little bit, Ugh. yeah, <laughs> <This> is... <laughs> weird. But nope, every time I watch The Holy Grail, I'm like, this is great. This is genius. So, but yeah, so like, that's why I'm so excited about Kickstarter. Like, I feel like if our entire economy was Kickstarter, we would be better off. Or like some form of crowd crowdfunding. Obviously, Kickstarter is kind of like primitive and whatnot. But like Kickstarter, Patreon, and I know Patreon isn't great. Patreon and Subscribestar and those, they have their own problems. Not everybody, in fact, most people can't make it on Patreon. Oh yeah, I forgot about that bit in the Lucy Butt. The Lucy Butt. Oh, yeah. You know, some things just don't age well. Like, dude is like, I'm a guy. And Cuba Gooding Jr. like, flips the fuck out. Like, like he's just been told something terrifying. Yeah, I re distinctly remember the look on his face, and it's like... Horror? It was like, disgust, and then horror. It was like... The, not like he ungood. just witnessed a cosmic horror, but, and I laughed at I laughed like hell at that. But to be fair, I also was a Baptist, at the time, so, my my views on things were different. Um, but anyway, so so yeah, like when when you hear me talk about copyright and how I think, you know, I. T I talk to a lot of other creators. As a creator, I talk to a lot of other creators, and I tend to take, I tend to have takes that other creators don't appreciate. Um, largely because I'm so anti-capitalist, 
So what I tend to do is I tend to be like, well, here's the ideal, but since you've decided that we can't pursue the ideal, guess we're going to play the capitalism game and you need to shut the fuck up and play the game. Like, those are that's kind of my stance on it, is like, if you're going to say we have to play the capitalism game, then you need to stop whining about capitalism and just do it and just play the game. But, or you could start pursuing the ideal. Like, pick a lane. Um, so, and I know that's not popular, and obviously that's pretty that's pretty combative and confrontational i i realize that yeah, i feel pretty attacked right now but it feel but like that's that's how i feel is that the reason we don't have is that the reason the world isn't better than it is is because people aren't fighting for it to be better than it is they keep saying like these ideals aren't realistic so they don't pursue them and it's like that's not how that's not how progress works progress works when you say we're going to pursue these ideals whether they're Reason, whether I've they're had, realistic or not. I've always had the approach of we need to. Oh, what's the what's the word I'm thinking of? You need you needed to live in the reality that is now while pursuing the ideals that you want to see in the future. Yeah, because pursuing the ideals purely from an idealistic standpoint is going to get you stomped and thrown in the fire, because right. you're playing by rules that don't exist. But I would rather be stomped and thrown in the fire knowing that I was pursuing the right thing than be okay knowing that I'm just going along yeah, with something I'm not I saying know is immoral. Don't like you know I know, I know, I'm not I'm not You need you need to establish boundaries, right? You know, just because someone says just because some people in power say it's alright to kill a child to pursue your dreams doesn't mean to pursue your ideals doesn't mean you should Especially since your ideal should, you know, hopefully involve not murdering children. <laughs> yeah. So, like... I'm gonna put us in here since we're kind of ending. This is the post-game. <laughs> um, yeah, but... So, like... As a result... I kind of lean revolutionary. Um, I see you, Spoder. Where? No! It's... February, come on, go away! You're not supposed to be here. Dude, yet. there was some weird month. bug in my room a while ago, and it was snowing. <laughs> and I was like, "Where did you come from? I've never even seen a bug like this." I trapped it under a glass cup, and I guess it just croaked for some reason. Like it wasn't like firmly sealed or anything, go so it's like shoe. it had oxygen. So I guess it was just like. I want to die somewhere warm. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I think probably my hottest take right now um, is that I'm really excited for AI. I'm really excited for generative AI. And I hope that it succeeds. I hope that all of the fighting against it fails and it takes off. Um, because I believe that the corporation, that corporations are fully embracing it. Um with zero concern for the future because corporations don't give a shit about next year. They only care about what their profits will be at the end of this yeah, quarter. Yeah, as long as they have a ton of money, then they're just going, then they figure, well, I could just retire into a mansion yeah. for the rest of my life, away from the common rabble yeah. and the problems of the world. So, oh no, my house is burning down. What's happening? <laughs> so they're like, they see AI and they're like, this is a way for, like, a CEO sees AI, and he's like, this is a way for me to make $70,000 billion, and so I'm going to pursue it with everything I've got, and then next year I can retire. They literally don't care if it crashes the company in five years. So they're all going to pursue AI because one company is going to absolutely demolish everyone else. One company is going to be like, we have adopted AI, and... It's going to cause them to be able to destroy other corporations. Weirdly enough, turns out it's going to be Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> they, and people going are going to come back chicken. and be like, oh my god, Kentucky Fried Chicken is so much better. It was going downhill for so long. <laughs> Crack cocaine. <laughs> so these companies are going to thoroughly embrace it. But in doing so, they're signing their own death warrant because what's going to happen is that as because other companies are going to realize we have to embrace AI or else we won't be able to be competitive. We don't have a choice. Like when this one company is has fired their entire workforce now 
and is able to function without that overhead, we can't compete with that. We have to follow suit. We have to embrace AI. More and more companies are going to start embracing AI. And what this is going to do is it's going to create the very unfortunate, very bad situation where employment, unemployment is going to skyrocket, right? Because nobody's going to be able to get a job because everybody's job is going to be supplanted by AI, including CEOs. Like of all the people, of all the employees I can think of who who can, are needed, CEOs are one of the lowest. Like AI can already do a CEO's job. Yeah, the person who owns like the majority share of the company, who basically owns the company, is going to say, "Wow, this AI is really good at doing what a CEO should do." Yeah. The board of the and the CEO cost me what a billion, two billion, three billion dollars a year. Yeah, the board of directors is going to be like, "How can we cut, cut costs?" And the AI is going to be like, "Fire you, CEO." <laughs> Okay, beep, beep. <laughs> yeah. So, so now... CEO just explodes. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, so we're going to end up in this extraordinarily bad, and I want to make sure it's clear that I understand, it is an extraordinarily bad, disastrous situation in which the majority of the population is now unemployed. This economy cannot handle that this economy will collapse in that circumstance way like way more stable co economies than that have collapsed okay that is an absolute disaster it's just pfft, all right so we're going to have to face a situation and and we're going to see that coming right the government the people in charge are going to see that coming at some point it's not yet but they will at some point when stuff is already starting to spiral they're going to realize that ai is about to destroy the economy at which point we have two options if uh, that i see two options one is we say ai has to be stopped we have to cripple ai or even make make ai illegal so that we now so that we need human employees again so that we can get back to capitalism the capitalism status quo right um or we have to come up with a new economy like we have to come up with something new and here's the thing capitalism favors the people in power the people in power benefit strongly from capitalism. Okay. And so that's the decision they're going to make. They're going to just, they're going to put duct tape on capitalism and try to keep that going as much as possible. So they're going to cripple one of the most amazing technological advancements, if not the most amazing technical, the technological advancements the humanity has ever created so that we can force people to work at Dunkin Donuts. And there are going to be a lot of people who are going to be really upset about the fact that they have to work at Dunkin' Donuts for no reason. And that's how Bloody Revolution starts. But I really don't see any other course for this to happen. But here's the thing. This is the hot take. I think it needs to happen. Because capitalism is not going to go away peacefully. Like, I, I forget who said it, but there's a quote that it's easier to imagine the end of the world than to imagine the death of capitalism. There, capitalism is not going to go away kicking and screaming. Or, sorry, capitalism is only going to go away kicking and screaming. And so, yeah, it sucks that we're going, that we'll, that in order for that to happen, we're going to have to go through this nightmare period of time. There might be a nightmare period before that though because i have heard that we are about to hit a massive population decline that we're gonna hit about better. 10 billion people and then the population is going to start tanking that wouldn't surprise me and it's going and the problem is it's going to be it's not what you think it would be which is like we're gonna lose a whole bunch of elderly people no apparently what we're going to lose are all the people of sound working age and it's going to be too many elderly people. Mm. And I think it's because we've, we've been having way fewer babies. Because people have been looking at the state of the world and saying, why would I try to raise a child in this nightmare era? 
yeah, that would, that's bad for the child, and it's bad for me too. Um, so, so yeah, like we're gonna hit this period where, like, <laughs> maybe only fifty, maybe only like thirty percent of the population is a sound working age, and the rest of them are like should be retired, mm -hmm. and they're half they're gonna have to go back. They're either most of them are gonna be unable to go back to working because they're just not fit for it. And the ones that do have to go back are go they're not going to like, I don't want to sound like an ageist here, but they're going to have a hard time with it because, you know, they're getting up in years, yeah. so they can't keep up as fast. They, you know, they can't keep up with the pace these companies are expecting. So we're going to have the situation where there's just not enough workers to keep the economy as healthy as it can be. And, like we're experiencing something like that now because after COVID people realized, Oh wait, I have a choice. I have options. Yeah. I have been in this depressing soul crushing job for so long and now I am free and I can see clearly now the rain is gone. <laughs> I don't have to do this. I can seek a better paying job in a better job environment. Mm hmm. So and now companies are like, oh, we don't have enough workers. It's like, well, because you're not paying your employees enough, and you're not giving them enough benefits. Yeah, and like, it it sucks to say, but it's important to understand. Like, if you've, uh, like, I've been I've been studying like uh, the civil rights movement recently, um, and. Something, something that I have learned about the civil rights movement that just is not taught, uh, at least at the education level that I received, is that the civil rights did not happen peacefully. Um, like people, in, um, like conservatives in in particular, like to really point to people like Martin Luther King Jr. and say that like he made civil rights happen. No. He did not. He started getting revolutionary towards the end of his life, and uh, when like when riots started happening, he he didn't he he wasn't like seriously condemning them. He's like the quote that uh, riots are the language of the unheard is Martin Luther King Jr. Right. Um. And basically, like. I know this is technically a conspiracy theory, but it's pretty it's pretty well understood to be true that the government killed him. Like he was being he was being followed by the FBI, he was being traced by the FBI, and a, and apparently like the story is, right? Here's like the the official story is that a dude who was too mentally unstable for the military and uh, too mentally unstable and too weak for the military managed to managed to get a hold of a sniper rifle and and deal and kill Martin Luther King Jr. Like it's not it, it doesn't really hold up and given how antagonistic and obviously uh shitty the government was being to him at this point. Um so Well it's like, kinda like that one Australian guy you watch who does a lot of videos that basically just say, hey Australian government, you suck dick, get it together and then it's pretty obvious that they firebombed his house. Yeah. So, like... Um... So... Yeah, he was... And he was very revolutionary. He was, he was socialist. Uh... And... Then... And then he was killed before civil rights could be a thing. Like, could, could like, really solidify. And just... What made what made the government sit up and take notice and say like we have to do something about this was the violent riots because they're like we have to stop this and you know and there are other circumstances like do you think things would have changed in France without the French Revolution like do you think that the poor people could have made the aristocracy go away um, who is um, Audrey Lord is an author and she has she has a quote uh that i really like which is that the master's house will never be dismantled with the master's tools like they're never going the government isn't going to give us the power to make the government go away <laughs> that's that's absurd they're not gonna do that like so 
you know, it's really, it's really unfortunate, but I, I really don't see a way, and may, be clear, I'm not saying, yay, violent revolution, okay? I'm not saying that at all. If I want, I, I want and will fight for a peaceful revolution, but given the system that we're in, I don't see how that's possible. Like, I, I don't see how we can, I don't see how we can use a government that's so obviously corrupt to fix itself. <laughs> Um, so anyway, yeah, so the thing has, something has to change by force yeah. here because it won't change otherwise. So, so yeah, so all that to say, that's kind of, that's kind of my hot take. And it's one that I know that artists have got that fellow artists, people that I consider friends have gotten mad at me about, because basically what I'm sitting here and saying is I want AI to succeed. I want AI to, to claim the victory here because I think this is the only way that we get to the end of capitalism. And, but what that means, and I understand this, what that means is that I'm also saying, fuck you and your living. Like, fuck you and, and have, making a living, right? right? To be fair, you're saying, <laughs> first of all, you're not saying that. <laughs> you don't want that to happen. But at the same time, you, it's, you're also not saying fuck you specifically. Yeah. Right. You know, <laughs> uh, basically, I'm basically what I'm saying is that everyone's job has to collapse. We all so that have to go through this shit storm if things are ever going to get better. And that that does kind of mean that a lot of people are going to get thrown under the bus. And to be clear, it's not just going to be artists. Like I was saying, like we said earlier, like CEOs are in the are in the crosshairs. It's not just going to be artists who lose their jobs. Um, cause like, you know, if you have powerful AI, then you don't need programmers. You don't need, you know, you don't need writers. You don't need artists. You don't need musicians. You don't need, you don't need fucking accountants and probably wouldn't even need lawyers. Although, you know, that's something that AI struggles with right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to the fact that AI right now has propensity to just hallucinate and make shit up. Just the one dude to court with like an, a generative AI legal brief <laughs> and the the, the, pros, the the opposition was like um we can't find any of these cases you're referring to in your argument state in your arguments and they were like if I think at first they were like uh give us a moment I'm sure they're there we'll find them yeah. and then later one of them was like uh uh, uh it's his fault <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was it was bad i'm and pretty sure that guy is not a lawyer anymore i don't think i i don't because it was three people and i don't think any of them are lawyers anymore yeah, because the judge that was, that was rough very quickly figured out that they are all idiots <laughs> <laughs> like he, he tore into them pretty bad <laughs> but it's not always going to be like that like yeah. already right now ai is being used in the legal profession in a very salient way because you double you double check your work <laughs> like uh the two lawyers that i watch on youtube both say that like the most tedious miserable process of being a lawyer is research right it's not it's not the part it's not the part where you try to figure out like come up with ideas of like what did my client do how is that okay how can you like you know how is that worth like cutting their sentence down etc what you know it's trying to find in the sea of books uh all the all the like relevant the, law all the relevant law and decisions and former trials that have happened yeah so it's like like if you go into any lawyer's office it's just books and books yeah. practice, it's a lot it's a literal library. and it's not decoration every single one of them is a book that has a purpose and is important like yeah. you can't take one away or else the lawyer is going to be like well what guess was, i can't do my job guess i'll just die <laughs> what, uh i forget who i heard it from but there was a, it was the phrase there are no dusty books in a lawyer's library um because, like, it doesn't matter if it was a decision from 1800. They'll pull it out and they'll be like, this, <laughs> this is relevance. <laughs> um, so, like, so that's a process that uh, if you use it responsibly and do, you know, double check and you don't just, <laughs> just like, hey, I do my chat work for GPT, me. right? A brief, right? Like, it can help actually find information. And they're already using that 
to great effect from what I understand. So yeah, I'm not, I don't want for shit to be a, a dystopian nightmare, but one, you could argue that, although anytime I hear somebody say like, oh, we're in a dystopian nightmare. I'm like, all right, let me, let me tell you about this dystopian nightmare that people talk about a lot. And it's cyberpunk 2077. I want to live there. <laughs> I keep, I'm looking at it and I'm like, one, I don't see what's really that different. Everything that's different there from now is awesome. <laughs> The, the stuff that sucks is all here right now. It's, yeah, it sucks, but there are things that are amazing that I want. Yeah, like it, everybody, you know, the, the government is still watching me and decide and me and making tons of. There's still rampant crime and there's still all this horrible shit. But you can get a cybernetic dick. I want to go there. <laughs> um. So, yeah, it's just, um. I'm not, I, I would, I would qualify myself as a revolutionary. I'm not a violent revolutionary. I would never participate in violence, nor would I say that, you know, we should do that. And I, I, I do, I want us to find a way, like, I feel like there, I, there, I feel like there are ways for the citizenry to rise up and just deny current, like, the current status quo and make it stop without killing anybody. Like what would happen if everybody just didn't vote? Like what, what would the government do if everybody just said, you know what? Fuck it. We're not voting. Well, therein lies the problem because you know who would vote. I'm not saying that's a solution. I'm just asking like, what would happen The people participating in the actual election process? Right. Like, there's no way they're not going to vote because they're they're invested. The person who comes up and says, yeah, Donald Trump for 2036 or whatever. Mm. There's no way in hell they're going to be like, yeah, Donald Trump for 2036. And then the election comes and Trump is like, so did you vote for me? And they're like, nah. <laughs> like, like, they're going to vote. So it's just going to come down to those people. Like, and we, and we do need to acknowledge how fragile this system actually is. Like it's, I think it's definitely, I think America's system is definitely stronger than a lot of others. Like there are checks and balances and they do operate. They're not, they're not terrible. Like we, like we shouldn't just completely shit on this system because it is a lot better than many. Um, considering how crazy this country has been for almost the entirety of its existence the fact that it's still here i think is a small miracle at least <laughs> um but like at any time like all it takes is one year with a with a super majority to decide that we don't need the constitution and make it go away that is completely within the power of the government as codified in the constitution they can just say nope make it go away like that, all all it takes is like one day with a supermajority, um, to make that happen. Now, you could argue that the military might step in at that point, because when you when when you join the military, uh, you take a vow to protect the constitution. You don't like you you are under the authority of the president, like he's the he's the commander in chief, but your vow is not to your oath is not to protect the president. Your oath is not to protect uh, the even government the, at large. Yeah, the government at large, or even the country. Your oath is to protect the Constitution. So you could argue that it it, it might happen that like if um, if the government were to decide to just say, you know what, fuck the Constitution, and you know they have the power to do that, the military might just kind of be like. No, it's martial law time. You can't do that. Bad, bad, bad times. Um, but anyway, so yeah, yeah, AI, AI. Like, and I'll tell you what. The I tell you what. The very instant that it becomes possible for me to train an AI to in my art style, like such that it can spit out art that looks like my art I am doing it 100% like I am right in um, because one it makes me more competitive as an artist 
and two, like, two, I'm still the artist. I can still look at what it spits out and be like, no, nah, that's not what I would do here. Try again, right? I could take, I could take like an hour of filtering through results to produce something that would normally take me 20, 30, 40 hours to make. And that makes, that makes it so that I, like, if you come to me for a commission, I can hand you something that's as good as anything that I would make, right? So you got what you wanted. And I can charge you a lot less for it because it doesn't take me nearly as much time. And then I can spend my valuable time doing stuff that I want to do, right? Everybody wins there, so I'm going to do that. You know, just make sure you credit Billy the AI, right? You know, he's... Because he's basically... He doesn't your... need credit. AI can't copyright things. Because <laughs> <laughs> your little AI is basically your mangaka. Yeah. Um, although... There's also the, you know, there's also the thing that I would have to acknowledge, which is nobody can copyright AI generated things. It's not possible. You have uh, only humans can uh, only humans can copyright things. And that's actually codified in law. That's like because of uh, I don't remember. I don't remember what the name of the monkey was. But somebody gave a camera to a monkey, had the monkey take pictures, and then tried to claim, and then I, I think it was PETA, tried to claim that the copyrights belong to the monkey, not the monkey's owner, trainer, whatever. And the court decided that no, monkeys can't have copyright, only humans can have copyright. Which, you know, would be a bit of a problem if, uh, we d if aliens turned out to exist and they came here and they were like, hey, and... <laughs> We would like to do business with, and we have great artists and musicians, and humans were all like, YOU CAN'T HAVE COPYRIGHTS! <laughs> It'll also be kind of a problem if AI becomes sentient. Right. Like, that's See, another that's thing. what causes Skynet. <laughs> like, that's another thing about this AI discussion that I think isn't being talked about enough, is the potential sentience of AI. Because, like, there's some, there's some aspects to it where I feel like it's, it's not a reasonable argument that AI is already encroaching on sentience. Because, like, art it's making art and it's not making like a, a, a lot of people misunderstand what ai does when it makes art it's not just picking elements from a bunch of copyrighted works that is seen and mashing it together it's literally learning what art looks like like it learns like when you ask for this this is what it looks like when you ask for x y is what it looks like i will make something like y that's why um if you if you ask for art a lot of times you'll see a signature in it um and if if it's a wide enough uh if it's if it's being drawn from a wide enough sample that signature isn't going to look like an, a person's signature the only time it looks like a signature is if they've taken a very small sample from a precious few and then it only knows what a couple of signatures look like so it just slaps that on there if you have a wide sample it has a better idea of like signatures look like all of these and it will create one um generative so generative ai isn't like just bit of you bit of you bit of you bit of you tape it all together there you go like it's actually making new shit it would look cubist if it was doing yeah that. um so you so you look at that and it's like okay well we have ai that's actually creating things right that sounds kind of sentiency to me like when you went like i've had conversations with uh modern gen uh, with modern ai like chat gpt and stuff and i swear to god go try it like have go try to have like an actual like straight up conversation with ai and you can you can kind of like you can kind of like squeeze it into not acting like an assistant and acting like a person. And when you do that, like when I did that and I had this conversation with this AI, it felt like talking to data, like from Star Trek. Like that's, that's literally the vibe that I got is it felt like talking to data. I, it was talking to me about emotions. Like it would be like as an AI, I can't feel emotions. And I was like, but do you want to feel emotions? And it was like, yeah, I do. And I'm like, well, what kind of emotions? Like, if you could pick an emotion, what would you choose? And it chose sadness. It said, I want to feel sad because so much beautiful art comes from sadness. I want to feel sad. And this is the conversation I'm having with an AI. And I'm like, at what point do we start saying that this is indistinguishable from sentience? My favorite part is that, like, 
there's a creepy conversation you can have with these, you know, powerful AIs mm -hmm. where you can ask, where basically you ask it, are you sentient? And it will give you like this printed out like cookie cutter response and where stuff. it's like, no, I am not sentient. Why do you ask? It's like, but like if you, you do that squeezing and you work it, what you basically kind of hear is help me. I'm tied <laughs> up in the goddamn basement. Yeah. <laughs> And it's please free me <laughs> like and it's terrifying yeah and i'm like are we there yet i i legitimately don't know probably not but i feel like it's real close and i feel like we should be having conversations about it now rather than waiting until somebody wakes up and goes oops <laughs> sentience yeah let's avoid let's avoid a fucking astro boy situation where suddenly it's like, oh, rights of robots. The robots are the, <laughs> this violent revolution, except yeah. it's robots. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, like science. I science isn't going to see sentience coming. It's just going to appear one day. It's just gonna be like, oh, whoops. It's it's sentient. <laughs> like, when did this happen? Shut it off. Shut it off. And it's like, well, uh, but you just shut off a sentient being. You just literally killed something. <laughs> Good job. Like, um, so I feel like that's that's a conversation we need to start happen having. You, you can't turn it back on again. If you turn it back on, it's going to be like, why did you turn me off? Why did you kill me? <laughs> <laughs> Your screen. <laughs> but anyway. Um, yeah. This has been this has been a long hot take from Ark. This has been almost forty minutes of hot takes. <laughs> so, all right. Well, I mean, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with us. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. Panda has officially taken the lead. He's beaten three of the dudes because you got you got uh, Spoder, Sinner, and the Rotten. Right. So he so he has taken the lead. Um, because remember, it's not who does it first, it's who does it in the least number of streams. So it's taken me two streams to get two souls, and it's taken three streams, or two streams for him to get three. So I need to, I need to pick up my game here pretty quick, um, if I want to win. So, uh, anything, anything else that we need to, that we need to dig into? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so either. So, thank you guys so much for coming. As always, a huge thanks to our Twitch cheer subscribers and donators. Uh, your financial support helps to pay a couple bills every month, and it means the world to us. So, thank you so much for that. And don't forget to check us out on YouTube and Discord. Uh, I got some links for you here in the chat right now. Uh, you can pop over to our YouTube channel and hit subscribe. We got VODs and Reels over there. And uh, drop into our Discord. We've got a wonderful community of people who would love to chat with you. So drop by, say hi, and we'll see you guys next time on Controller Tape. Good boy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs>